Now, as we open, the two main characters that we're going to be focusing on are going to be Brett and James. Now, in the opening scene, Brent and James have been tracking someone. Now, they have tracked them basically to a little break in the woods, and it's a little clearing. And uh, that's it. There's someone sitting in the center by a fire. Oh, right. uh, is he my life? Yep. He commands me? No. You saved my life. Okay. You, you saved my are life. acquaintances. You saved my life at one point in time, so... I respect no. you, and I, I want to make sure you get treated. Basically, right now, you guys are sneaking in the woods, checking stuff out, trying to see what's going on. Oh, my name? I'm Samuel. Do I talk about Mr. Samuel? No. no. Just Samuel? Yeah. Just call me Sam. Okay, Sam. All right. Which way do I Okay. okay. So what... Do you guys want to do? Yeah, as I was about to say, do you want to approach this guy stealthily? We both can do that. Yes. Let's and let's listen for dialogue, see what's going on, see yeah. if we can learn something. Let's do that. Okay, so if you want to listen we're for dialogue. Up, we're going to hide up in the bushes somewhere. What you're going to have to do, you're going to have to do, well, what, what specifically do you want to accomplish? Do you want to hide first, or do you want to check out and see what's going on before you hide? Because one is going to be stealth, the other will be a perception check. I want to go ahead and start stealthing. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're at a campfire, right? I will say, yeah, you're at a campfire. I will yeah. say that you are at a campfire. So far, the person that you are tracking has no idea that you're there. Yeah. What is your stealthing skill? A four. Your stealth is a four. You. I'm going to give you. Two. I would. It works just like standard. It's at night, right? <laughs> it is at night. night. I would like to walk in my mm -hmm. everything. <laughs> my what is it? Hiding, hiding. I guess that's what it says right there. Uh, hiding. Okay. I'll allow that. So you've got a two. Am I tracking? No. All right. How about observation to go along with this? No, because it's not a perception check. Okay. So then that's but pretty much all. I you got. have hunting. No. Thought you didn't have hunting. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. That's what I'm saying. I never really. My guy didn't so. hunt a lot of animals. He. So you like got a animals. four. Yeah. And I said, and I have two in the skill. Um, okay. So you'll have three. So, so two plus one from the second. Yeah, I will say yeah, two plus one. Now, Shane, I got a question. And this would this be an obstacle? I would just set it for both of them to do, or is this going to be a Why doesn't he just like? Or does on? each person have their own set of obstacles? It's up to you. Whatever uh, kind of result you want, like if you want to split them up. That's perfectly fine. <coughs> yeah. see, he can well, fork to me if you want to do a solo. I am... You can also use slowest, loudest. The slowest and loudest has to be the leader. Okay. So, what we'll do, I will make it an ob two. So James has three dice. Then I have to roll a six. You have to roll four to five. You six, have to roll five. three, and you got to get a four... Or like four, five, or six. Okay. Those are successes. Basically, one, two, three are failures. Four, five, and six are successes. Okay. So, let's go ahead and roll. Game cut. I did it. Feel. Did it? Yep. Yep. All right. So you've got three. So we'll do. All right, James. Uh, Brent, go ahead and roll yours. I got four. Right? Yep. Trying to hit it two. Yeah, I got two sixes. You got two sixes. All right. So, for you, Brent, on your stealth, mm -hmm. go ahead and mark routine. That was a routine test. For James, that was a routine test as well. So that's one routine for both of you. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to 
All right, so hide up in these bushes. You guys successfully I'm gonna go make your way. Disguise myself a little bit. Now that I'm busy. Climb up into the tree. You're on the top branch, James. The orc has kind of circling the outside rim of the fire. Rim and he's kind of he's just sitting sitting in the bushes. And where do you want to go from here? What do you want to do now? You're in position. This is where yeah, we're going to eavesdrop. You want to eavesdrop? You want to listen if there's anything around that might that we can't see. And also, I want to listen to see if he's saying anything. <gasps> I want to observe while keeping a watchful eye. Okay, so what we'll do. James, I'm going to make you roll perception check. Perception. Mm. Nice. Let's see. Where's that at? It's perception. Good. Three. Is oh, okay. right here. So you've got a three. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you what this is going. Well, you're, you're gonna roll it. Gonna well, I think what's that thing where I have something that helps me at night? Uh, that is your steel. That has nothing to do with uh, no, perception. No, I meant like you said. I get certain benefits from that. Is cold that. black blood. That's minus two D on roll. In the oh. sun, but at nighttime, it just gives you plus two to your steel. You cannot be shaken that easily. He's got lynx eyes like burning coals. Yeah. Lynx eyes, that's just uh, <laughs> being able to see. <laughs> uh, okay. You're looking at a campfire, so it doesn't really you can't really see much past this. If, you've ever, used, if you've ever used night vision, you're sitting at the edge. The campfire's basically got you blinded. You can only see the campfire. The rest of your surroundings are dark. You said any two successes? Uh, that might be almost impossible for three days. You did it last time. No. Well, only you will need three successes. That's not going to happen. Let's do this. One. One success. Okay, so. <laughs> under your perception, mark a challenging test. So where it says C, just mark one. Like the uh, Okay, so I'm chilling in this tree. As James, well, as the orc is sitting there, he's listening, kind of scanning, surveying the area. He is just watching this man sitting at the fire, not doing anything. The man's just sitting there resting. As James is scanning, he turns his head, and all of a sudden he just feels this hot air pulsing on the back of his neck. As James uh -oh, feels the air, he turns around, and he is looking dead in the face of an orc great wolf. Mm. Persuasion. We're not the what do you do? Um, An orcish gray wolf? Does he, they can talk does he look like they have armor? He is a gray wolf. His head is as big as your whole torso. But does he have like armor? No, he doesn't have armor. <coughs> no riding harness or nothing. I mean, he's just a great wolf. Yeah. I mean, you can roll with your perception again if you want to find out more about it. If you, if you want to find out more about it. Oh, I actually, actually, I'm gonna use the let it ride rule. You already rolled your perception. I'm not gonna make you roll it again. Can't tell much. The wolf's face is in your face, and you can't see around it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Decision. That almost is a steel hesitation check. <laughs> it's almost surprise. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. That's I, you can talk to him. Hey. Yeah. I mean, that, that's I'm probably... really polite to the wolf. Hey. I'm like, first of all, you're really good at hiding. <laughs> Second of all, <laughs> what's up? It's... Hey, what? are you the, the game? What, what's what's happening here? You got to be like Panini. <laughs> I know you're probably. I know you're probably looking for food. I don't even know. <laughs> like, uh, I can't persuade him not to eat me. I just gotta see if he'll befriend me and see that. Wait, is he growling? Not yet. 
Not yet. The wolf is just sitting there. <coughs> His mouth is open. He is inches away from your face. Mm, I calmly... Uh, as <coughs> calmly as I can, I just put my hand up really slow, like really slow, like you would do a dog, and just let him know that I'm not threatening. Can I make a perception check to see him doing this? The wolf bears his fangs when I do that and starts growling as soon as you start to move. I'm not moving. Brad, <laughs> roll a perception check. I just sit there. <laughs> That's what my guy just did up in this tree. Actually, I'm not gonna make you. I'm not gonna make you perception check. Ooh. I like I like holes. Brad, what do you want to do? By now, you realize that this great wolf <coughs> knows That's that you're one. here, and it's obviously out of place. A great wolf wouldn't be in this part of the woods by itself. Yeah, they are pack creatures. He's either with another pack or <coughs> possibly someone that you snuck up on, that you thought you snuck <coughs> up on, has this creature in tow. Yeah. So at it. this point, Brad, uh, you have kind of been alerted to your wolf's presence, your wolf sensing someone else. What do you want to do? I want to stand up and go to where my wolf is. You want to stand up and go to where your wolf is? Mm -hmm. Do you know exactly where your wolf is? Uh. Well, the perception. I got a two out of four. Okay. Well, I'll say, okay, I'll say that uh, you go over to where your wolf is, yeah. and at this point, you know, there's a fairly fairly large ruckus. You know, there's a large wolf that's growling, <coughs> making a lot of noises. You've got up, you know, you're wearing your armor, it's clinking. By that time, you see this dwarf just kind of fall off of a cart. Just kind of roll out <laughs> of the fire, almost into the fire. And he gets up and, and he dusts himself off. So, Nailed it. The, the dwarf sees, you know, that that something that something's going on. Shane, what do you want? Uh, all right, Brad. Uh, Brad, what's your character's name? Uh, Titus. All right. Titus, you take the lead. What's going on here? Well, how how do you know my name? Your companion, you're traveling together. Oh, I'm you're traveling remember, with him? Yeah, you remember okay, the dwarf? Okay, okay, cool, balling. Yeah, you're traveling with the dwarf. I'm going to go see what's spooking his way. Okay. All right. So, it's you guys make Wait, your way. It's fine. Behind the spy. So, you make your way over to, to where you hear him making all that noise. And as you get there, you see that there's a... Uh, an orc hunter standing there. I'm standing. Bow in hand. Okay. I'm, I'm, right here. I'm just like, uh, ooh, you done got yourself into a predicament, son. I roll perception <laughs> on this to now. Now see this going on. And at this point, I need to roll perception. Brent, you are problem? you are Who's still in, in the tree, and you see all this going mm -hmm. on. You don't have to roll perception. There's, but there's still a dude in the middle. Huh? There's still a dude in the middle, right? No, they are both. Together, the dwarf is with Brad, and they are wearing the muzzles. Hayes, Hayes, Hayes. Yeah. Um, I smell orc blood. <laughs> I'm going to pop down behind you. Yeah, believe me. You might smell orc piss. <laughs> okay, so. And piss. What? I'm going to pop down behind Brad, and I'm going to tap him on the shoulder. I'll use my stealth to check if I got to I had a two perception. Right. So, uh, well... What did you roll? What did you roll on yourself when you initially rolled? You got rolled? two successes. Two, two sixes, though. They're not open-ended. Damn, I could have opened them. <coughs> if you wanted to explode a fade, you could. Yeah. You could have. Oh, okay. well, fuck it. Uh, well, yeah, go like, ahead. Roll play it out, guys. That's You have walked up. Hey, on do I see, uh, Is I, this your... I see? I see James sitting there, right? Yeah, you uh, see James I see Brent, standing there. No, you never saw you don't, me. You don't see Brent. That's okay. Brent. And the wolf so, doesn't really turn I'm towards him at all. No, the wolf. Okay. Then I would know that this wolf is at least somewhat friendly oh, no. towards what, him. As soon as I approach, I tell you, you got yourself okay. in a predicament here. Look, I didn't do anything. I was just supposed to be tracking some people. It's not like we were gonna kill them or anything. You are quick to give up information. <laughs> you think I care? My life is being threatened here. How many are there? I'm, I'm going to stop this. I'm going to have to walk up behind you and tap you down. 
Yeah, we're, we're just out Prove here doing something for a friend. 20? <laughs> <laughs> Prove it. Lay down your weapons, Orc. What? If you promise this thing won't bite me when I try to lay my weapons down. I you? can sort of guarantee. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'll lay my bow down. Okay. You've laid, you've laid your bow down. Now. Continue. <laughs> I'm going to cut your call. This <laughs> magnificent animal off. I will... No attempt to call your animal spy, off? And I'll point at the fire where I was cooking some food. And it's his favorite dish, a badger. <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah, that is correct. Bonus <laughs> die. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to chill the tree. You're in no harm, obviously. All right. Uh, I was able to get down from the tree. <laughs> At this point, I James... The the shoulder, you guys had a whole conversation in between it. So James is still that. standing there. His bow's at his feet. He's still standing there with his hands up. The great wolf has made his way back to the fire. He's sitting down. Can I pick up my bow? At this point, not like can... we're just at a standstill. And we don't know what the orc is doing here. We don't know... Where the adventurers but, are going. I think these are the people we're supposed to be tracking. I don't know. Orc, what is your what purpose here? What information were we look giving? Look at your beliefs. You need to look at your beliefs and you're playing your beliefs. I'm going to pop down from the tree and introduce myself. I'm going to let everybody know what's going on here. A <coughs> we are uh, right. sitting out here to the track, I guess, you guys. We're looking for somebody. Oh, I like that. As Everyone. I'm following this orc around right now. He'll tell me eventually. <laughs> In all my days, an orc and an elf? Yeah, I know. He saved my life a couple we years ago. We had it was crazy. quite the racial mixture going on here. Twinkles, everybody, because I don't know his name. <laughs> well, can, can I pick up my bow? Yeah, just Give don't the man his it. weapon back. We're don't friendly. Just don't draw it. Give the man his ah. weapon back. We're friendly. I'm thinking I'm put it on back. I look at the wolf while I do it. You may pick up your bow, but only if you can prove that you can hit this target. And I throw up and I pound a block of wood into a tree. All right. What? Chow. Why? <laughs> I sit down at the campfire with the dog. Is he friendly? Hey, you can challenge me. Shouldn't no, I be able to no. challenge you? Come at him. Uh, yeah. you're, you're the one on the defensive here, sir. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. He thinks I'm his bitch. What? <laughs> Does that does that person. does make sense? I mean, you kind of get your pants around your ankles at what? this point. Yeah, but why would he? I just don't get why he would ask me to do such a task. And that, how would that prove myself? <laughs> Maybe he wants to test your skill. Oh, test my skill, my skills. Are you worthy of our company? Would, if I'm lucky. What did you say, Jane? I asked him, "Are you worthy of our company?" He's worthy. He saved my life. What's your name, Shane? Bardor. 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 Bardor? Yeah. Like bar the door? Yep. Okay. Bardor, you have some Take unique step. taste. And I'm going to step in front of my wolf, just in case James aims at it. All right. <laughs> okay. How far back do you need me to be? 20 paces. 20 paces. The optimal distance for target shooting. Okay. So, if it's going to be 20 paces, go ahead, and what is your bow skill? Three. Bow skill is a three. At 20 paces, I'll say... I'll just and, say it's a novel one. All right, and as um, he's doing this, I'm going to just kind of, like, follow him with my mallet out, like, raising it at him, like, you better hit this target. Why would you what? do that? <laughs> No, I can't, I can't allow you to do that, man. You it's gotta, an empty. All right, it's an empty threat. No, but, there's still it's still pressure that you're putting on the man. That's the point of none. No, I just come down and sit by the fire with me with this crazy dog. <laughs> Let's see if he misses. If he misses, yeah. we'll drink to it. I, I, it. I grumble and like I, and back away. Really, really Let's see what this sort can do. Okay. Hmm. So, uh, do I put use agility at all? Nope. No, nope, you're, you're just gonna, gonna roll your bow. You're just gonna roll your bow. There's a jealousy for damage though. No, just roll your bow skill. What's the obstacle? We're not. We're not looking for damage. Now, if you want it's to, an, it's you, an ob one here. If you, it's ob one. You have bow, but you can fork in any of your other skills that you have, if you want to. 
like maybe I don't know, let's say hunting. Yeah, but why? Um, or, or you can claim an advantage. Fletcher. Yeah, or you could claim an advantage. <laughs> Fletcher is just creating arrows. Okay, so you, I would do hunting. Yeah, hunting. Not, or like, if and, you can advantage. claim that you have an advantage, you can lobby me Clear for, line one, for one advantage shot. die. Yeah, yeah clear. It's pretty easy. It's a standing, a target that's standing still, not moving at all, and I'm used to hunting. Okay, then you will get one extra die. So right now you're looking at five. Oh, okay. to get an ob one. To get an ob one. You gotta roll one. You gotta be five. piss poor to not hit. Sometimes it happens. Hey, fails on the kill. Nice. God, oh. you passed all of them. Okay, he hit the dead so center. Five. He hit the nail that is holding the wood. Up. That's five successes. <laughs> As the orc notches his bow, you can see his muscles tensing and his sinews and tendons just pulling back. And as he lets go, the arrow flies straight and true and hits the tree and actually splits the board in half. And it falls from the tree. Now I'm going to stand up and stand exactly where he was, and I'm going to throw a knife through his arrow, hopefully. You give me a check on that. Okay, well... Let's try that. It's going to be throwing... <laughs> and I can We're going to say knife. it's a knife. That'll be more difficult to use than a bow. There's an arrow, which is a much smaller target. I'm going to give bow. you... Yeah. Two. I'm hurting this right now. Two. What's your skill? My skill for throwing is three. Skill for throwing is three. Crop in is one... Yeah, okay. I have yeah, four dice. That's it. I'm gonna I'll fail. give you an ob three. Ob three off. Oh, yeah. All right. Ob three off oh, four. Yeah, for Tona points. Ooh, I only got two. Yeah, you, you only got two. Yep. So, as the elf throws his knife, it looks like it's going at the tree. I mean, it's going, you know, at the steps. Dead straight on, and yeah. right as it gets there, it just hits the side of the arrow and kind of glances off and just off into the woods. Close enough. <laughs> so you need to mark that you used an arrow or a, a knife. So yeah. that's going to be one less. Yeah. One less. Uh, that was a <coughs> difficult, let's see. That goes on four. throwing, right? Yep, that was a difficult challenge for your throwing. James, you earned a routine for your bow. Uh, so mark a routine test under your bow. All right, Titus. I rest my case. We have a true companion on our hands here. Well, we do mean? not know why they companion. are tracking us, though. I look kind of excited when you say companion. Companion? Yeah. I like the sound of that. So we're going to go on an adventure today. Bardor, we have yet to discover why they are tracking us or who is calling why our services. Out here. Well said. You are do you the talking, ready? Titus. Uh, I guess we found a lead. We found a lead on where that talisman might be. Talisman? Yeah. Something that he needs. I told you he didn't have a name. For orc talisman. So, you think I should just say my... You can state (coughs) your beliefs. There's nothing negative about stating your beliefs. Okay. So, that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm following him on this, right? Like, I don't have any idea. Yes, you I, you I are here know. for him. Is Your Brad character is basically bit? here to help and yeah. make sure he is okay. That's my, your belief. Is Brad known a little bit? What do you mean? Like known in the human sector? You you, yeah. you wouldn't know Brad. I wouldn't know Brad. No. Me and you probably are like the only people that know each other because of our life paths. Okay. Then, truth be told, I won't be. Um, I'll be completely honest. I'm looking for a powerful tal- or talisman in order to prove. So for my um, tribe and make a name for myself. So send this Currently, my name is Twinkles. Be all I my friend. It's funny, isn't it? It's funny. Say so proudly. Well, I have no talisman. I'm just say, you're not seeing how pretty he is. It's pretty, pretty old. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Come on, James. Whoa. Okay, Twinkles. We dropped a wheat, Dennis. It's like a bomb or something, right? He's got to find it. He's got to have six. He's over there by wow, Brad's chair. Brad's foot. Jesus. I'm going to, uh, while he's explaining this, Hayes, I'm going to grab his arrow out of the uh, mark that he hit on the tree 
grab my equipment out of it and take it back to my cart and let these guys handle their own conversation. Okay. I'll get my own knife. Right, you know so what? what? I'll get um, my own. And I'm going to assess the arrow for for any splits for damage that it took in the strike, and I'm going to go repair it. Okay. Well, I will oh, say wow. that uh, yes. in He's a great the player. shot, yeah. since it split the board, the head of the arrow was actually stuck in the tree, and it kind of pulled the head off, and basically you're just holding the shaft in the feathers. All right. So I'm going to take it back in my cart and do a repair. Okay. I'm going to use my mending. All right, and I'm going to throw in my carving skill for uh, knowing how to reshape the the pieces. Okay. And uh, what's my obstacle? All right, what uh, is your mending skill? Uh, two. I'm going to say two. I'll say it's an odd one because it's an arrow, and that's not a too terribly complex piece of equipment to repair. All right. Two successes. The arrow is repaired. I'm Not scared. only is the arrow repaired, the shaft is actually noticeably straighter, and it's noticeably sharper as far as the point goes. Nice. It was actually a little bit better than what it was when you shot it. Nice. Any bonuses for that? Um, I'll give it a plus one D bonus for that particular arrow. Since it is straighter, it will fly straighter in the air. So you have a better chance of hitting a target with it. All right. Yeah, I'm going to bring it back to you like I fixed this for <laughs> actually, actually, they're having a conversation. I'm just going to be in my cart and let them handle the conversation while so I'm doing this. who led you to believe that I had said talisman? Well, it's not that you might have had it. Take a bathroom break. You need to further leave. Actually, no. I want to hear this. I know... What, can you explain this talisman any? I don't know much about it besides it's powerful. Now, <laughs> at this point, James, uh, you can do one of two things. You can either roll perception <coughs> to see what you can remember, and depending on how many successes you get, I can give you... More information about the talisman. Ball. But perception. Yeah, we're in the middle of the game. Okay, we'll see when you get Alright. So you can do that, or uh, you can. Let's see, what are your skills? Do you have any wises or anything like that? Wise. Wise, wises, no. Nope, you don't know anything. So basically, uh, what's your perception? Three? Three. Okay, go Four. ahead and roll your perception. For each success you get, this is called a graduated test. There is no obstacle. The more successes that you have, the more information I'll give you. One. I mean, two. So you have two successes. Thinking back, before you left your clan to go find this talisman, you do remember an elder speaking of uh, a box that holds this very potent power. So you know that it is a box is what you're looking for. It's so much like a very small chest. Okay. And you can spot it and your second piece of information by the orc inscriptions that are basically uh, written on these chains that are closing the box. Okay. All right. So I can play that. That is. You might want to write that down. You might want to write down in your notes what the box looks like. Here's that actually maybe flip over. Okay. So anyways, Bardor, have you heard anything of this relic? I'm like down at the campfire pounding on it. I just like turn over my shoulder and shout back. And I'm like, I don't know shit about a relic. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> I do know. I do know that where we're headed, there's treasure to be found. Is that basically why we're out here, or we're just hunting? Well, Shane, do you want to explain, it or you want me to explain it? Uh, I will explain it. Okay. 
Well, Titus, I have been holding this from you for a long time, apparently. And I will tell you why we are companions here and now. My father holds a grudge against me. And I swore to him that I would build my own workshop to assuage his grudge. I was in his office that day. He's a, he's a chief architect. And I walked over to one of his shelves, and I pulled a map out. It was my grandfather's map that he gave to me many years ago when he died. And he said there was a family treasure there. This is how I'm going to earn the money for my workshop. And I told my father, I swore to him, that I would build that workshop. And that is why and where we are headed. I heard all of this, right? Yeah, you, you. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. We're having a public conversation right now. Yeah, they, you're still sitting in the fire, and James is talking to. How far away is this treasure from where you guys are at right now? I'm just curious. I know this wood's pretty good. It's up to the. It's up to Hayes. All right, now. <coughs> One day journey, weeks journey, month. Who? You know I'm at. Shane, you have no. Orienteering skills or anything like that, do you? I don't, but I would be happy to test it unskilled. I would be happy to look at my map and try to chart where we are. Okay. Well, I will say add to you. Let me also, see. Sir. I got can it. you fork unskilled, Shane? You can't fork, but you can still get advantage dice. Okay, okay so. I'm going to help coordinate with you then. That's what I will do... Going. This is my neck of the woods. We're right? going to say... All right. Shane is doing a orienteering, <laughs> which is going to be your perception. So what is your perception? Uh, I'll tell you in a second. Uh, four. And your perception is a four. Now, I will say that... Will be an ob two. Unskilled, that is an ob four. But because it is a family map that has been in your family for as long as you can remember, I'll give you a plus one advantage die. Oh, I was gonna lobby for that all day. And also, I'll give you another advantage die. Uh, because you can clearly make out landmarks on the map that you are familiar with. They're, they're common landmarks that a lot of people know. Okay. Now, uh, I'm going to voice to the elf. I heard you say you know the, you know the woods okay, here. I want to make sure this is my neck of the woods. Yes, like, this, this, is, is, the, the this is the woods. So, could I hold the map and do the orientation with, like, Song of Path and Ways and stuff like that, and it'd be a better... You would have to ask... Well, if he will hand over his family. I, I, I need to know as a gamer if it's going to be beneficial, is what I'm saying. That you can't tell me. Okay. What's, well, what's your song of Path and Ways? I don't know 100% what it does. What's your well, skill? Oh, my skill is a four. It, map, paths, path Song of Path and Ways is orienteering for elves. Well, here's the thing, Brent. You can do that if you want, but my dwarf is going to fight you over this. He wants to map the course because it's his map. And he wants it. So if you want, oh, no, I can propose. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I, I was just asking. Yeah, no, no, that's fine. Okay. But if if you want to argue, if you want to pretend that the elf and dwarf are arguing over who should chart the course, I think it's kind of interesting. Maybe we could just roll that real quick. Yeah, yeah. you can roleplay that. Go yeah, ahead. If you want to, yeah. yeah go ahead. <laughs> All right. Well, I've got this map here, and you know, I'm like looking at it and trying to talk about going. like where we're going. Let me read it. I'm trying to hear him, guys. Well, I'm sorry. What was that, Shane? I'm I'm like holding out the map and I'm looking at it and I'm kind of like turning around, like I won't let you look at it <laughs> as you come over my shoulder. Seems the door is a little shy about the people. I'm just trying to help, man. I I, I apologize. <laughs> help? Is it sacred about this map? Did you, I can't. Is it gonna like burst into flames if I like touch that. it with my? Can't help? you tell I have pride and I'm from a proud people? Yeah, well, you're short. I get that. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> there are advantages to being short, I'll have you know. Yeah, I know, and I push you a little bit, and you don't move. I, I get it. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to 
uh, try to persuade the elf to <laughs> smash the elf. Let me look at my map by myself. Yeah, you you got that. That's what you're gonna do. Any help you need, I'm right here. Okay. Okay, so I won that. You don't have an argument with me. Okay, no, great. No, you, you so I will take your helping die then. Do that, sir. All right. Okay. So I'm rolling my perception plus 2D advantage, that's 6, plus uh, Brent's helper die to chart a 2 ob course. <laughs> All right. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4... All right. Four successes, and Brent, you helped me chart the course. So, you do not... You have orienteering? No, you have Song of Path and Ways. So what we'll do... Go ahead and mark Song of Path and Ways. It was uh, an ob two, so that is just a routine. So mark a routine on your Songs of Path and Ways. Now, Shane, go ahead and put orienteering on your skills being learned. Oh, you got it. I'm doing this without you even saying it, bud. Oh, you know, okay. Yeah, you don't. You so gotta I don't remind even me. write anything down for you, other than when yeah. I, don't e don't even remind me. Just let, I, I'm taking care of it. Don't even worry about it. Okay, okay, okay. I'm trying to get to that. So, dwarf is looking at the map, and you hear him. You hear him making a lot of different noises, like uh, he's like ah, hmm, ah, uh, oh, okay, I see, I see. <laughs> He's holding the map up, and he's, you know, it's dark, but <coughs> dwarves have night vision, so he's looking around <laughs> like he's looking for landmarks and you know, holding the map up. And, I'm just giggling. You know, he, he's like, ah, I know exactly. I know exactly where we have to go. I so, want to walk over and ask you how long it's going to take us to get there, Mr. Bardor. I'll, let, uh, I'll let Hayes speak for my character since he's got to establish the facts. I will say that... Uh, the distance that you are from from where the treasure is uh, is probably it, you could make it there through a night of solid travel. Like if you just didn't stop moving, you could make it there within. Is it still in these woods? I would say maybe eight hours or so. Is it still in these? It is. It is near these woods. It is in this area. They are in kind of the vicinity of this place. Is where you guys are right now. <coughs> so, Bardor, do you still require my assistance? Absolutely, good sir. If companions are to be had, you would be the one I'd choose. Oh, that might change. <laughs> <laughs> We've uh, accompanied each other this far. And <clears throat> so, um, I said the town is further. Like, where else can we go from here? You are leaving the town. The way that you are going now, the town is behind you. Right. And if you were just to do the town is point A, the stash is point B, you guys are, like, right here. I can roll to make sure that this isn't my stash. I can see the map. This is not your stash. Okay. You, this is make sure. This is gonna be like in a cave. I got you. All right. So I'm just gonna throw it out there. I'm just gonna say this after we figure out the place and we know that it's a good day's travel. Why don't we just go drink in camaraderie? Let's go all stay at the tavern. Let's hang out real quick. Some friends get to know each other a little bit. And, uh, all right. Can we start out on this adventure? Well, the day is fresh. I'm sorry, uh, Brent. What's your character's name? Let's just call me Sam. All right, Sam. Okay. Sam, I have to build that workshop. Time is money. Time is of the essence. I'm willing to travel by night to this cave. And I down. might have something that we can search for in the daytime that might aid you in building your workshop. Hmm, I'm not sure I need the aid of an elf. I'm in, bitch. <laughs> I see where this is going. Well, off to a good start. <laughs> All right. So we go by night, is what you said. What about everybody else? Well, we're already some of the way there. Uh, I say we travel. Yeah, we travel together. We're very close. We go by night. I'm willing to assist. I got nothing else better to do. I just wanted to drink. 
<laughs> well, if ale's to be had, let's see if I have some ale. And I, like, go over to my cart. <laughs> oh, God, I'm going to pass out. All right, and, well, uh, I don't know what to test on that. I think it's four. You can maybe test my resources. Yeah, well... It's half of four to something. If you want, I don't have to. If it's not important to you, I can just pull out. It's not. Ale. It's not really important, man. Just, All right. Yeah, just there's ale. You've got ale, yeah. ale in your car. All right, I'm gonna be you like this. Man. Actually, you all can ride in my car. Old Bogey here, which is my mule's name, is uh, is gonna take care of the take care of the walking. And like, I just I pour the ale, and like <laughs> like whenever you guys are ready, we can set off. Sweet. I'm rolling one on drinking. What happens here? You guys, you guys are tailgating. What was your drinking? Yeah, I'm not gonna drink. Let's drink with the dwarf. What's your What's your drinking? Uh, nothing. I mean, what? I'm practicing. Oh. Is this Is this in your beliefs? Oh, you want to make friends, don't you? I do. <laughs> he wants to open the drinking skills. What he wants? No, to I, do. I want to make friends. I can't put drinking on my skills to learn. Everyone knows elves are lightweights. Yeah, I know. That's this is the point. We're gonna get started. I've been in the woods for like 60 years by myself, man. Come on. <laughs> Tell me some things. Hug me. A little merry, but I'm a little crazy. I'm like half. I'm like half your age. Uh, my, little question, my question is: I'm really young. Are you guys drinking in competition, or are you just drinking in camaraderie? Camaraderie. Okay. I'm not gonna make you test anything. All right. So That's we're making good friends. Drunk. Drunk. It's like, yeah. it's like I can hold more, I can drink more than this dwarf can drink, and then you would be at like a pretty heavy obstacle since it's dwarf. Yeah, and I would be sloshed. I only get one yeah. dice, period. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say I get really drunk, Six. and if you guys need to wake me up, I usually sober up pretty quick after a nap. Uh, or a good song. No, you know what? I'm just drunk. Off that way. Okay. <laughs> so. You guys are all on your cart. You've got this unlikely band of companions. You've got the dwarf <laughs> who is uh, riding the cart. You've got uh, the desperate elf. Braticus, who's sitting beside the dwarf with his great wolf companion trotting really? alongside the cart. I'll, I'll walk with my wolf. All right. You walk with your wolf? Okay. Why um, don't we... Can I take a moment to go over beliefs? Like, can we yeah. just read our beliefs out and yeah. introduce our characters? Because I, I kind of have no idea who everybody else is, really. I have an inkling of an idea, but I don't know what got nailed down, so okay. I'd like to know. Well how, well, how about this? I can see uh, so We can either all just all read one. the beliefs, or you can try and role-play them out a little bit. Uh, you guys, what do you what do you want to do, Shane? You want to do, you think just reading would be better? I'd be happy to just read mine off as if I were my dwarf and I was just talking. Okay, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. We're not role playing like people are asking questions. Like everybody's just kind of swearing. Yeah, because that yeah, but let's we, we, everybody to this yeah. neck of the woods. And this is yeah. basically what we. This is where you guys. I kind just, of find. I just want to make sure that we as players are kind of all on the same page here. Right. Okay. okay? Okay. Yes, I need to ask a question. Yep. This is metagame as fuck. Um, my secret cache that I have, yeah. is this along the way of the journey, or is it going to be out of the way? I will say... I'll say that it'll be somewhere near. I mean, it'll be somewhere near the journey. I mean, okay. it's not It's not going to be, like, way, way out of the way. But I'll tell you this. Um, as far as a secret cache goes, if you are on... A trip to get treasure. Do you need to stop by your treasure stash in the woods if you're on your way to get treasure? I mean, and there right. are no towns. I was there are no towns for between. later reference. Okay, well, like for I later, might disappear off the cart for a second. For, and be right for back. later reference, we'll we'll cross that bridge when we get there. That's what I'm saying. I we'll might cross it when we get there. Might not tell anybody and then just jump off the cart if we pass it. You get what I'm saying? Like on the actual path, yeah. right there. I can just be like, boop, get off, go get it. That's what I was asking. Brett's okay. gonna get us into trouble. Yeah, well, at that point, uh, I would be alone and by myself. We'll, we'll just point. we'll just decide. You decide when you want to when you want to go to your stash. You just let me know, and more than likely it'll be in here where you're at, conveniently. Just for the sake of convenience, it'll be near where the car trail will be. And I just fucked up a little bit. Go, going there or coming back. Yeah, 
It'll be out in the woods in some location that they won't be able to follow you. Right. I would grab you by the collar and ask you not to leave if I noticed you were leaving, by the way. Heading heading to the place. After we're done getting the treasure, it's all yours. Okay, so go go with your boobs. All right. So uh, I'm playing a dwarf. My, uh, my dwarf's name is Bardor. And uh, my belief number one is I'm good at one task, carting goods and keeping gear in top shape. To ensure my share of the valuables, I'll not let anything get in the way of a job well done. Belief two, I'll let these fools carry on with their directionless plundering while I cart the real valuables. When we're swimming in gold, they'll have... Oh, no. Oh, shame like that. All right, I'm gonna pass the baton to the left. Okay, you actually, you actually <laughs> that was, up right there. That was perfect. You yeah. got uh, it locked up at the point where you said Your name when they are that. swimming in gold, they will have me to thank. Oh, it did. Yeah, you completely froze and then. Ah. Okay, well let's try it again. Okay, so <laughs> believe, so believe one. Uh, or believe, that was belief two. Belief three is uh, this city spills over with crooks and liars. I'll make this nameless orc prove himself or else oust him for what he truly is. Me? Yep. Like, I don't trust you. That's basically my thing. You earn some respect, though. Yeah. Okay. Let's just say that belief will probably change. Maybe. Hopefully. Okay. All right, pass the baton to the left. Okie dokie. My dude is a human whose name is Braticus. So should I change it to Braticus or leave it to Titus? You can change it to Titus. I like Titus. This is pretty badass. Right. I just did Braticus because you never named your character. Titus. All right. Um, for my beliefs, I will not leave my companions behind no matter what danger they are in. I will always keep an open mind to other races. I will go to the ends of the earth to keep Zvi protected. Great. Mm-hmm. Nice. That's the time to the left. So Zwi also has I will Oh yeah. I yeah, will you need to them. you need to introduce Zwei to your, so your companion. Zwei, they can talk. Well the great wolf and James can talk. That's what I meant. Yeah. And uh, he is I was chosen and will serve my master to the end. Orcs corrupt the world with their presence. Badgers are tastier than you think. And for for the sake of everybody else, uh, the Great Wolf uh, can understand what Brad says. You know, the Great Wolf can't directly communicate, but if you were to give it a command, it is intelligent enough to know, okay, if you were like, all right, circle around here, and you need to look for these particular guys, the wolf will know because he's very extremely intelligent. Just so you know, they're like dolphins. Just yeah. so you know, Hayes, uh, maybe James here's I don't know, but like while we start walking across the cart, I'll pet Zai and tell him that if the orc goes out of line, you may do as you wish. Okay. But give him a chance first. Okay. You might be the one that's going to be. We're on uh, the elf, Sam. That is myself. Samuel is my name. I uh, I must repay my debt to uh, Twinkles over here. I will keep him safe and make sure he is treated fairly and with respect. <laughs> Hence that arrow thing where you're chasing around with a mallet earlier. Nice. <laughs> um, I must steal away to my cash secretly and gather its valuables for the coming journey. <coughs> Although I did not tell you, I tried to help you. Um, <clears throat> I am in no. I am in need of friends. I prove myself worthy to my companions by illustrating my many talents. I failed on that earlier. <laughs> You helped with orienteering. I did, but I, I'm saying, like... We know you can throw knives. Yeah, yeah. I, I couldn't have done that. You'll have plenty of chances well, to throw knives. You didn't say you hit... You at least hit the arrow. That's what, that's, didn't hit that's it that's why I said like, close wrong, enough, and then but I you hit the arrow. Right. <laughs> he laughed maniacally and backflipped into the sewers. <laughs> I'm not this <laughs> uh, Backflipping out into the woods. Where am I? Back up in that same tree limb, like, a yeah, few seconds later. Back into the tree. Alright, James, yes. go ahead. So, I am a nameless orc. I have heard of a great powerful orc talisman. I will reclaim it for my own and earn it 
and earn the right to be named by my clan. Also, now, <coughs> that first one, to let you know, is an extremely powerful belief for your character. I figured it drives. The being named is an actual ritual that the orcs do. So that's like yeah. a very important thing. And I know that about you, and it's my job to keep you safe. You know what I'm saying here? Right. All right. Let's go ahead. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. And I wish to educate myself in the ways of etiquette, so I will engage in our every parley. Cannibalistic. No, no. Oh, no, 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 no. parley. 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 That's what I was thinking. Parley with the silver with the silver races. I'll have to restrain myself from my cannibalistic tendencies. James doesn't want to use this bowl. I have. <laughs> I have a knack for raining flesh. I will impress my comrades by laying the first bloody blow. All right, so everybody uh, basically. That's the one that you. That's all for that landing in my foot. Everybody basically knows each other's beliefs. They know Give me Dr. Pepper. specifically Give me what each like character Pepper. is after. Uh, so, at this All point, you except guys for are... Except for what? Except for my secret one. Your character is one. Secret what secret one? The secret one. My secret one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, secret, the secret, secret, yeah. The characters are not aware that Brent's, me Brent has a secret one. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, you guys are riding in your cart. Just mind your own damn business, making small talk, you know. I'm looking at And uh, so how did how did Shane like get this, that like get me to follow him? Uh, he how does brain into him? One he day? he is looking for as you said. He was away Basically, you know, your character is affiliated with the guard. It's probably mercenary of some sort. Probably. Takes jobs for pay. Dwarf is yeah. trying to gather companions on his way to the treasure. So more than likely, can, oh, we can just say that like yeah. no royal. I could be like, I know that royal. Yeah, dwarf. he can be like, yeah. Yeah, I am better than your average mercenary. I have royal affiliations. Everybody in the human district knows me. I know the guards. I love proving myself and helping yeah. others prove themselves. So it's yeah. a mutual agreement, right? Yeah. So. Yeah, we can just say we have a backstory, and like whatever comes up, you know. Is okay. Me well, basically, I'll just say that uh, I don't mind helping you to help you prove yourself, and also prove myself to your father, who is fam who is royal. Oh, there we go. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Right, we'll wait for Brenda to get back to continue. Because I do love. Well, now might be a good time for me to take a bathroom break as well. Okay. All right. He gonna go pooty do. Go go make that poo poo. That brown water. Yep. Wait, hit Poo -poo paint. Does that mean you should pause the video? It's no. just yellow. It's just yellow water, Mom. Oh, the yellow water. It's yellow water. It's not that doo doo butter. Sounds like you need to drink water. You might be dehydrated. <laughs> you need some water in you. So, how long is the game supposed to last? Seven more hours. No, can't do that. It can last, <laughs> uh, last for a while, man. I probably got out about till 12. Two out to twelve. I doubt it's gonna last that long. Okay. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's like fucking all the series. No, I don't need to pick them up. Hose, fat hose, James. Oh Jesus! Oh, twinkles, let's go. Twinkles, twinkles. So oh, fat with fat, it. but oh well, no, two of them's fat. But I was about watching. to say two thirds of them are fat. Three of them. Yep. <laughs> Well, if I ever meet one, I'm gonna be like, "Yo, you need to watch this video where James calls you." Yeah. Oh, that's horrible! <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, James, Why'd you do that? James calls you fat. <laughs> she is. She is, but she's the uh, one. Damn, he's not even trying to sound good. Come on, that is yeah. cute though. She's really cute. James, right, can't and she has a nice, even though she's chunky, she has a nice body. Also, there's another one who's really skinny and not okay. skinny attractive. Is that the one that got really drunk last time? Yeah. Oh, right. And threw up in your car? She oh, threw right. up in the cup holder. She threw up in the, his cup holder. Yeah. Yeah. Did she fill the cup holder? Almost. It had completely. to. Uh, it was like those dual ones. I tell you, my uh, oh. my mom and my grandma's got a big German Shepherd on her mom. I say big German Better. Shepherd. His back is probably about as tall as his table. Do you do? Um, Pee-pee. Pee-pee. Anyway, my mom's German Shepherd, I uh, <coughs> took him. No, it was my grandma's. That's right. I took him to the vet. 
And the whole ride, she was like, all right, now he gets car six. He need to roll the window. So I got him window down. I ride all the way from Effingham into Florence, like a 20-minute ride. Dog was fine. I pulled into the parking lot of the veterinarian's office, and he leans over and vomits in my cup holders. The when double the ones. With the window with a, Yeah, and the door was open. We were about to get out, and he just goes, <laughs> and, like, and, like, real slow, leaned over and was just like, <laughs> and filled my cup holders to the brim, filled my this cup holders. Disgusting. Yeah, and I just sat there, and I was like, it wasn't like regular throw it where it's kind of, it was like fucking mucusy, like, <laughs> like just... you, could dip, uh, you could dip a rag in there and pull it out, and it'd be, like, stringy. I was like, this motherfucker right here. God damn it. <laughs> nah, I mean, this big-ass dog looked me dead in the face and was like, <laughs> Get your ass. I was like, was, oh, you fucking it was, kidding me? It was me? the car stopping that got him. No, we were stopped. We were sitting there for a while. Uh, I was, yeah, we... We had pulled up, and we had sat there, and it wasn't like as soon as I pulled up, he threw up. Like, I pulled up, I put his leash on, fucking on, but we had sat there for maybe about 30, 30 seconds or so. And right before I was about to get out, I just... <laughs> she just threw up Coke and, like, alcohol. And uh, it was, cocaine. It was pretty much, pretty much it. And then... She also threw up outside of the car before she threw up in. Like, because we started driving and I couldn't stop fast enough, I guess. And then after that, when we got to her house, I, I carried her into the house. Like, seriously. Seriously, princess style, carried her up the stairs and into her apartment. Whew. Hey, sorry. Yeah, I was We're really waiting pissed. on Brent to get back, man. I was, I was like, oh, my God, I'm so glad it's not some chunky throw up. I, I would probably rage. <laughs> I would rage, dude. I could not take it. You going to eat that? <laughs> like, what if you ate some bologna or something? Right before that happened, I would lose it, man. What do you have? Spaghetti. Oh my god. Spaghettios. <laughs> what is that like? Oh my god. Sorry, I had spaghetti. What if it was all fat bitches, dude? Who knows, what they, that? who knows what they would have been? She better be really attractive. <laughs> Fat attractive girl. That's kind of counterintuitive. It happens. I don't know, man. Uh, you probably can't do that. You're too. Um, it's a rare occasion. Uh, it's it's not a rare very occasion. rare occasion. Like, I, and it's only just faces to me. I can't see, I can't see body type through roles. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You got some uh, shallow as hell. I didn't say that. What are you talking cares. about? I didn't say anything. You've been calling you've been talking about fat girls all night, James. Hey, just because you, couldn't, you could have just been like, they have beautiful spirits. You're like, them fat <laughs> they're fat ass girls. Like they don't have beautiful spirits. They are not. But that doesn't mean they're not fat. <laughs> you didn't say that. I didn't have to. I didn't assume that they were ugly because they were fat. You know, for me, the fat one, you show our anger a lot. Yeah, you <laughs> just <laughs> The donut was really nice. Is Brown fine for our kids? He could be. Hey guys, I'm going to be the soul. The soul is going to be on the internet. It doesn't really have any words, but what the views is. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, so Brent is back. I'm sorry. Please, don't the assisting at the bakery and stuff. You guys are assholes. How about You're fine. You gotta get a beer, James. You're fine. You gotta get a beer, James. Oh, no, I'm not drinking. Give me our drink. Give me my argument now. Because I'm having a laugh. Oh, my God. Thank you for the other thing. He's staring you up and down. Can you hear me right now? Mm-hmm. Yep. Hi, Rachel. How are you doing? I am free from the man. John. Congratulations. Last day. And I didn't do shit all day. 
Shane, we're gonna have to do mind. some some heavy editing in this video. Sorry, everybody. Ah, uh, no, whatever. We'll figure it out. Sorry. There's a lady. It's so, gonna be a hit. It's, it's a lady. There's yeah. gonna be a hit. Tough, That's tough. an automatic ten likes right there. Ah. <laughs> 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 uh, Zoom function. I'm going to have to learn how to. Edit. Get Don't worry. Wait a second. All right. All right. Enough, enough of that. Enough of that. That's this terrible. That's terrible. Bad at, people. At this point, at this point, all your characters are in their cart. You're going down the road. You're all conversing, laughing, <laughs> and not really paying attention to anything. And as you are riding, you come into a fork at the road. Uh, mm. One way uh, is very heavily wooded. We'll say that'll be the right path. Now, it's very heavily wooded. When I say very heavily wooded, I mean thick underbrush. Like you, so thick that you wouldn't be able to run through it. You would get caught within how the much, first few steps. Of how much knowledge of it? Can I go ahead and like make a decision? Well, yeah. I'll give, give me a second. Give me a second. So. The other path is pretty pretty barren. You can see where the trees kind of thin out, and then you know at some point it's just death <coughs> everywhere. The grass is dying. Black trees are cracked all over the place. It's just real, real, you know, just desolate looking. Well, let me ask you this: which seems less traveled by? Okay. I know that. But which seems less travel? You're gonna have to roll your perception on that. All right. Well, uh, what my character? An mean? old, an old dwarf in my family named Dwarfert Frost once wrote a famous poem. <laughs> right. Tell me this poem, Seth. <laughs> Two rows diverged <laughs> in a dwarven hall. All right, I'm gonna roll my perception. Oh, well, hold on now. Hold on now. What, okay, what's uh, up? What, are your, what applicable skills do you have? Uh, path and way. So I know exactly which one's the shortest, and I know which one's the most difficult because this is my territory. Okay, now, you've got Song of Path and Ways, which is a four. Yes, yeah, so I also have any kind of tracking to pick up footprints. Now. Observation to see anything ahead. I'll help you. Or interior. If you... We we can do this now. Shame. What is your perception? Uh, four. Really, it's kind of fifty fifty right now. Shane's Brent has his. What was it? It was Song Path and Ways. Yeah, four. <laughs> we'll do. Oh, Shane, where were we saying? All right, well, we're here. You can, in, you can fork into these songs because they're not spell songs. It works yeah, as yeah. volunteering. Basically. Here are is he reading your choices. Shane has perception, which is the same as songs of Path and Ways. Yeah, I'll make it easy for you. Shane I, has I'm, a map that gives him a plus two D roll. Okay. Yeah. So Shane will, has the map, and you guys can assist him. I will make it easy for you. Okay. Okay. I am sitting there looking at the map, looking at the two roads diverging into the wood, and I cannot figure out what's going on. I'll and I up. turn back to the elf and I just hold the map up and I'm like, here, you do it. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and sing Path of Ways and I'm going to sing it, obviously, so that, that gives me one fork already. Anything that you could fork in and... Uh -huh. <laughs> so path, path and Ways, ways it's gonna is going to no be your leading skill. Okay. So you're going to do your four from Songs of Path and Ways. Right. And then You're going to get two from the map. Two from the map, six. You're going to get... One for sing. You're going to get uh, not one for saying. Okay. Uh, you're going to get your observation. Okay. And do you have tracking? <coughs> you have tracking yes. at all? You do? Yes. I'll say tracking. The way I can justify that is observation. You can see the path, uh, path travel, tracking, same deal. You'll know which way is the most traveled. Yeah. Where so, how many dice are you holding? How many are we rolling? That's eight. <laughs> All right, Brent. <laughs> he will say Your GM it. just hooked you the fuck up. Yeah, so basically, 
It doesn't matter. I'll just say an op four is going to be a routine test no matter what. So, yeah. I mean, if it's yeah, it'll it'll be a routine test. So, go ahead and roll. You got you got to hit four. Oh, that's one. That's three. Three, uh, six. That's only five. That's only five. You already made. You roll three, and then you roll two, two more. That's five. That's yeah. five. So I got three out of five. Yeah. You already got three out of five. Two. Three. Oh, God. Oh, God. You got one more dice roll. How many successes do you have so far? Three. 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 And he's got three. One, uh, one open six of that match. Five. You got it. Ooh. You got a five. Well, Ooh. Oh, man. Plus that six, man. So, I got to. How does he look doing that? The is? elf bad. starts sweating. You have to save face. <laughs> elf, <laughs> elf is trying really hard to save face because he already made a big deal to the dwarf. Ah, you know, this is my neck of the woods. I know what's going on here. You know, just give me the map and I can figure it out. So he's sitting there and he's just very, very statuesque. You see his defined features. He's sitting there like... The thinker, like the statue, and he's just holding it, just sitting like this, and just okay, staring. At it. <laughs> one giant bead of sweat. He looks at it Stop for beat. about just one for about five minutes, and everybody just sits there in silence <laughs> for about five minutes, I'm just, kind of, just kind of staring at him. I'm laughing. I know what's going on. <laughs> and all of a sudden, very, very slowly, he takes the map and he folds it back up. And he hands you the map back, and he just says, that way. Let's go this way. <laughs> nice. That there is elf sweat. Catch that in a bottle. <laughs> yeah. 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 So. I had to orientate myself. Do you guys actually <laughs> take. This is Michael Jackson. The path to the right. Now. Yes, I thought you needed something. The way you were sitting here going. She's already wasted. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> which which path? Uh, which path is the right path? Uh, is it's the one that is basically like a corridor, the one with the brush. The one that. And it's rough so rough. it's so overgrown that it's almost like you're in a tunnel. Like you, it would be almost impossible nice. if you wanted to get off of the cart and run into the woods. It would be impossible. You would be stuck. You, you wouldn't be able to do anything. So. You guys are right. Uh, basically, what happens? You keep going. You're riding down, and all of a sudden, you hear this loud noise, and kind of a a crack and a groan. And you guys kind of start looking around, trying to see what's going on. And as you are riding, one of the wheels on the cart just cracks into. It. Mm. You are immediately, you are in this tunnel, and you've probably gone at least, I, I would say at least maybe 30 minutes into the tunnel. I immediately throw the reins to the elf and jump off my cart to start fixing it right now. Uh, I'll get off and try to lift the cart up a little bit to help him with the wheel. I get off and look, or just keep looking around. I'm going to hand the reins to you. To me? Yeah. I can't ride. All right. <laughs> What's going okay. on, Hayes? Well, now that the wheel, the wheel is gone, <laughs> basically <laughs> you threw the reins to the elf, and the oh, cart is stuck. Yeah, so the elf is just holding on, making sure that the horse doesn't go anywhere. Doesn't go Don't go anywhere, please. So at this point, you are inspecting the wheel. All right. You are trying to decide what you can possibly do to get this okay. car rolling. Okay, so I am going to get down there, and with my little stubby dwarf hands, I'm going to pick up this wheel and get up under everything, and I'm going to be like, Orc, get your ass over here right now. I need a hand. Orc. Uh, All right. Uh, Man's already helping me. You you know, get your ass down point. here. Oh, no. So that is scut work wise. All right. So I get a. I, I'm forking score scut work wise. What is, this, your, what is your skill that you're leading with? Cartwright, because that is used to build and repair carts. 
Okay, so what's your what is your base your base roll? Uh, what is your base stat? My base stat is Cartwright, which is a B two. All right. Okay, so it was a B two. I'm I'm forking in scut work wise by getting help with the scut work, which is like the side, the odds and ends. Because I know that this card needs right, to be Right, right. All right. And then um, I'm using mending. All right, because in this case, I know for a fact that something needs to be repaired, and I know how to slot everything back together. Okay. All right. So I'm going to be rolling four dice on this. Could What's I my house? Well, I, I also have mending. Will that help? Uh, Tell me. Talk, talk to me. Talk to me, James. You have to. You. You can't ask me. I have this. Will that help? You have to yeah. rationalize it to me. You have yeah. to explain how a skill is applicable to the situation. Yeah, like those uh, quick little descriptions quick, that I give. You can do that. Yeah. The, all right, so I take a helping die. I will let that slide, but for future reference, mm -hmm. you can say, since I also know how to mend, I can assist the dwarf in yeah. fixing uh, the wheel. I'm, I'm okay. fairly familiar with dwarf. So, so, so you can be more specific and say, like, well, I can put puzzle pieces together, so I can take, two, take the two pieces and put them together, and that's it. That's all, there you go. It's yeah. glue. And I'm all so, like, yeah, Twinkle. So yeah. Let's drink on that. Okay, so. Uh, Is there any way that my power, can you work in, like, attributes, like, for a piece nope. of reference? Okay. You are, uh, your skills can't work with Her, attributes. Yeah, stats don't help skills. Yeah, stats, stats and skills are, like, two totally different things. Um, so. So one thing, the one thing I want to say is with the mending to give you like a detail to play off of, is I keep a bunch of spare like wood and scrap in my cart, and I've grabbed a couple pieces of stuff out of the cart to like pound it in. Like a there's like a big board and some spikes and some different stuff that I'm working okay. with here. Okay. All right. And this is actually how many dice did you say you had? Five. I got five. I'm actually going to look at this skill. Cartwright. I like these clear dice. I'm going to look up the skill for you. Cartwrights build wheeled conveyances to be hauled by animals. A wheelbarrow or a push cart is op one. A rickshaw or a two wheeled cart is op two. A four wheeled wagon, which is what I believe we are dealing with here, is an op three. But you are not building. Or that's just for mending it, right? Okay. Uh, you want to switch over to... Are you just mending it? Or, I mean, that... Well, here, let me look at it. Was yeah, Cartwright right. was skill? Cartwright is for building. Okay, so... So maybe I should use mending instead and then fork Cartwright. I... I don't want to belabor it. But... mending. Okay. Because you're not building the car, you're just fixing mm -hmm. the wheel. Okay, well, in this case, all my skills are the same uh, exponent, so okay. it's so not going to change my die pool. It doesn't matter. Okay, okay, but I am testing mending. That's my lead skill. Okay, okay. now. Uh, well, mending, you can read mending. Or I got it. I'm on the page if you want to hear it. Go ahead. Uh, mending something badly broken is an ob four. Okay. Uh, mending stuff broken on the road or at work is an ob three. Ob three is what I was leaning to before I even looked at either of this, so we'll say ob three. All right, let me know when I can read, roll the dice. Uh, like All right, go ahead and roll. <laughs> That's a weird feeling to have a break. All right, so I'm down there. I'm down there working on it. You guys are helping me out. Okay, Orc, you didn't do shit. You don't know anything about cards. I'm sorry. I do. Me. Oh. Part two. I only got one success. You only got one success? No sixes. One success, though. Yes, I defer to the GM. Okay, so, as the dwarf... Throw the little plates. You know, he's down there working, and he's got the orc trying to help him. And there, you know, trying to piece everything back together. And eventually, you see the dwarf's just getting... It's getting more irritated. Oh, damn. Fucking release the hounds. Uh, anyway, he's starting to get irritated. <clears throat> and really irritable. And then finally, you just see him. You just kind of snap. He just shoves the work away. He's like, you know, just get get away from me. You're not helping me at all right now. Just get out of here and let me do this. 
You're not properly uh, listening. He sits down there for a second, and and uh, it looks like he's got everything back together. Yeah, he's, the wheel is the wheel is mending. It's back. It's back in place. Okay. So everybody loads back up in the cart. They start to go. You hear a crack. Hang on now. It's uh, right uh, back <laughs> into pieces. <laughs> real real you quick. You know about cards? Me? Look what you did. <laughs> real quick, I learned something <laughs> while I was mending my car. At least I think I did. Give me just a second. What? Yes, man. <laughs> yes, sir. I learned. Oh, actually. No, I didn't. Sorry. My bad. Ignore me. <laughs> <laughs> Always blaming it on the orc. And look there, I didn't even help you out. We'll push it on. My bad. Ignore me. Orc. Okay. Orc. So, you are stranded. Your cart is broken. The wheel is broken into pieces. Oh, there it is. Ah, my God. My you are cart. nowhere near anything. You are nowhere near a town. You can't go out into the woods to forage. All right. I'm going to yell, like, <laughs> just angry. I'm going to so tie the we can't, we to can't the forge because... No, I can't do that. I'm just go. What did you say? We can't forge because... Um, so we couldn't get, like, wood and make, like, a whole nother... Well, wood. let me tell you. In my cart, I have a ton of scraps. I can make a makeshift wheel, but it's going to take some time. It's going to take me about a day. To Let make me a new wheel. find out where we are on the map. Let me. Can I ask? I'm gonna ask the dwarf so we can find out where we are on the map. Exactly. We well, we know where we are on the map. I think. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you know, basically. And I can't do any scavenging in this <sighs> area. No, I right. cannot. No. I've got I've got stuff in my cart to repair this with. It's just gonna take me some time. It's gonna take me about a day if I want to repair it. I say we I say we travel on foot the rest of the way. And just leave the cart and the mule. We'll trap the cart, and we'll we'll bring the mule with us. But we'll trap the cart. Oh yeah, I'm good at that. All right, just mark it on the map, and we'll go ahead. All right, so trapper as. You guys what? are getting your, your belongings together. You're going ahead and just kind of reluctantly getting off the car. You can tell the dwarf is real broken hearted that he has to leave his cart with all of his tools and everything in it. And he just is kind of moping around. And he unhooks the unhooks the mule. Everybody's just kind of getting together. And so you said you were going to trap the car, right? Well, I'm going to ask around in our party. You seem to be hunters. Can you think of a good trap? I have some rope here and some spikes. I'll do that. I'll do that. And I will help you make the trap because I know a bit about carpentry so I can wedge wood and stuff like that where I need it to go. I literally raise my hand and say, ooh. Oh. All right. <laughs> Get over here, buddy. <laughs> Time to prove yourself. Okay. I would like to use... Hunting to fork and for trapping. Now, what we will say. Can I fork in a disguise? For the, like, we put bushes over top of it and stuff like that? I'll just, say yes. I will, I will say go ahead. I will say you can go ahead and fork your disguise to disguise the trap. Make it look like so, it's not a trap. So, would I get another dice from him? Right. What is your, what's your skill? My skill is two. And I was going to ask him to fork okay. in hunting. You right. will be able to fork in hunting. I will, I will do arrow hunting. Arrow. No. <laughs> make make will, James okay. suggest. What would you say? Well, make James suggest it. Yeah, all right. Because so. you, you got to bring the details. You're right, you're right. I, I don't mean to be the GM. I'm, I'm like, answering your questions. You have to yeah. argue logistics. with me. No. Dang it. I have no That's idea. That's not logistics. Dang <laughs> I, I'm for, I have trapper, but I can. I know I can probably fork in hunting. I don't think I can fork in or in and and bowing wouldn't matter. Martial arts wouldn't matter either. Just just remember, James, that you're only gonna earn a routine test the more dice you throw into this. 
Like, yeah, like even even if you don't think it's possible, you could just say something like martial arts. I'm good at using my hands, and I have to fiddle with these traps when I'm setting them. Or yeah, like okay, Fletcher, so. I use this string and have to feed it through this this bow to make it. Shit like that. Whatever yeah. pops in your head, you can just try to dispute it. With you can just lobby it with me, and I will decide okay. whether that's valid. Um, hey, is what? Hey, is uh, a play question. What kind of test is this going to be? Is it going to be graduated? Is it going to be? Oh, sure. This yeah. is going to be a trapper test, an actual trapping test. Like, okay, but is it going to be graduated versus yeah. like what do you got going? going to on? have an obstacle. Okay, he cool. has one of two choices now. He. Has has traps that you can do for, uh, you can actually do like dogs and cats, foxes. This only, I, I will say it can only be a pit trap, which is an op three, or a man snare, which is an op four. Go for it, dude. Go for that op four, bro. That op four? Yeah, you're going to earn a challenging test. What? I can't get no... Okay. You don't know that. Just okay. Try it, uh, man trap, right? Yeah, man trap is op four. Is, so that's now, like when like spikes kind of close in on someone. Uh, man, a Whatever man snare is like you can you can really enunciate and just like you know describe it, but it's not a killing trap. It's a snare. It's an actual trap. It's like one of those cartoon traps that a fucking snatch somebody and pull them up in the air and they'll be hanging there upside down. Okay, so we're in this column of grass and crap, right? Nah, I mean it's like. It's like a tunnel. tunnel. It yeah. looks almost like a tunnel. It's like a giant hedgerow. Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. I would like to make a trap that would kind of come from underneath and trap them to the sides of the wall. Oh, nice. None. Okay, like a coil that snaps and drags them into the It'll wall. They'll snap and pull them into the forest, yeah. basically. Yeah, so I would think I could use Garrett since, um, you know, I'm, I know how to restrain people. You, by using Garrett, I think restraining them would be... That's more people. choking people. Damn it. Yeah. Can't make a choking trap unless it's... Um, so could unless I, you wanted to hide in a tree with a lasso and just, like, yeah, try and rope you. people as they walk by. <laughs> no, he's going to train a monkey that ain't for their throat. <laughs> the donkey! <laughs> what were you, you asking, asking Brent? I was asking if I could fork in... Uh, stealthy to go along with ah, the disguise and the trap. Damn, think about that. Somewhere that... No one would normally think of. And I was gonna ask if I could do Call of the Wild to maybe help s set the like actually set the trap, like make it actually go off. I'm gonna say that <coughs> disguise will be the only thing that's gonna be applicable there. So if you're disguising it, that's yeah. already kind of like a stealth based I, I, I gotcha, deal. I gotcha. So um, we'll we'll let you do stealth disguise. or disguise. I can pick okay. either you one. can do you can yeah. do either one. Yeah. So they all give the just, same amount of dice. It's just for your reference what which, test. Which one I put? Which one do yeah. you want to put it on disguise? Yeah, because you can only help with one. Yeah. yeah I got you. Okay. So I got hunting and trapper so far, right? All right. And what's your? Because okay. you're gonna lead with trapper. Now, what's your trapper skill too? Yeah, my hunting skill is also too, but it okay, matter. that's gonna be a one. All right. Okay. But okay. Um, I would also. Okay, let me word this correctly in my mind before I say it. Since I know how to, um, since yeah. I know how to put things together very well, only one thing I, could do. I would like to use mending in order to fasten things together I'll properly. Try something crazy on your YouTube. I'm not gonna fucking mm. do it. Like, it's, let's easy. say you have like the string on it. I guess if you tie something into place really well or something like that. Or wrote. Okay. Yeah, oh, I'm handing, yeah, I'm handing him a bunch of scrap. So I mean, yeah, I'll, you know, I will, he, I will let that go because you're right. Your mending is basically tying pieces together. Yeah. It's gonna be a moving trap. So I'll give. Also, it. also, Here's James, if you want any additional <laughs> dice, sorry uh, to interject. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can spend you can spend a persona point and add a die to your roll. Let's do that. I'm gonna spend a persona point. Someone's now, gonna now, be trapped. thing is this. What? You can either spend a persona point and add a die, or you, spend fate or you can roll, and if you have sixes, you can spend a fate, fate point. It makes a movement. And you can explode your sixes. You can also do both. Or you can do both. So every six counts as a reroll. If you really care about this trap, trust me, there's going to be more down the road that you will want to encounter. I'm just saying fate and persona are an option. You don't want to blow them on something that. But I don't have to say. Do I have to say I'm using a fake? You have to announce before you roll. Yeah. We're okay. also like, not leaving also, his part, right? We're leaving his belongings. 
We can't carry all that. Oh, that's right. Fuck. My bad. What are you going to say, Shane? I was going to say, look at your beliefs. Like, if you don't care about proving that you can make a good trap... Oh, I totally care about proving. This is going down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. If you care a lot about that, then yeah, then that's totally your domain. Okay. Okay. I get a die from Brent, right? Here's my one. Okay. I get I get a die from Brent. I get two from trapping. I get one from hunting, and I get one from men mending. What kind of trap did you say you were doing? It's, it's like a man, a man snare. snare. It's like a loop, like a rope loop. He's gonna use the vines, basically. Yeah. yeah. I know it's a wild. Yes, but can I use field dressing to help James with the trap to let him know vital points of the human anatomy? Okay. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, that's, that's what we call a stretch. Now, <laughs> that's called reaching. To give okay. you, if I had a hint, anatomy, I James, yeah. look at your gear. You have <laughs> one piece of gear that holds a just number of survival things. Yeah, and you can here. lobby for an <coughs> advantage die because it's not open. Poison. I, I don't know. I get what Poison the trap. Vax wouldn't work. Throw, Throw up. up on the trap. Throw up Use on your the hiding trap. trait also. Uh, he said that wouldn't work. Oh. Yeah. Traits are... Yeah, traits don't give you bonus D unless... I, so so yeah, anyway. I would also <laughs> poison my trap. Okay, so you're going to poison the rope? Ooh. Yeah, you're gonna have a poison rope trap. Oh god, I hope I don't have we a, put, a like, lesion on my ankle. I think the thing how long right. I'm how long gonna Hayes my boot. So I already handed him a bonus die, so give him a different colored die for me. Okay. I will do one more thing. Okay. okay. This is a risk. I'm going to hand him my dwarven tools, which give a <laughs> plus one D to any test involving crafting. Now if you okay. fuck these tools up. No problems. Lord. He'll be very angry. I will be very pissed. You got this. I can oh. see you struggling. I can see you struggling there. So, so there's one more die from him? If uh, you want it, you don't have to accept the help. I probably don't. I really don't want to mess up your tools. All right. I'll pocket my tools. Yeah. So that's seven. You've got seven on I didn't, odd four. Should I add the... These are ridiculously good odds. Uh, if you feel like you need to add it, I probably do. Okay, well you Just can add sure. it. Okay, so this one's Shane's, and this one is yours. I'll roll those three separately. Those two separately. Are you going to so, use a persona or a fate? I'm using both. All right, so well, you, you don't have to spend your fate unless you, unless you need to use your fate. Yeah, don't, you don't spend your fate right off the bat. Your fate... You might not get any sixes, so you'll just do yeah, so you use one six persona. Pops up. Yeah, persona you have to spend before uh, before you roll. Yeah. Okay. Nice What's up? the it's op four. Op four. Four. One, two, three. You have two more dice to roll. Yeah, two more dice to roll. Right. On you. Yep. Ooh, pass. All Shane, right. you helped. Yep. I nice. Your, your dice helped that. So. What was the obstacle again? Obstacle <laughs> four test. Everybody who assisted on the ob four, uh, <coughs> whatever your applicable skill is. What'd you do, Brent? You disguise. did disguise. Yeah. What's your disguise? Three. Your disguise is three. That's a difficult challenge. Or that's a difficult test. So. And you got a routine. For trapping? For trapping. I'm and Shane got... Shane did his. He did his. He knows. Yeah. Shane knows. Shane's got you a book. Shane I'm, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> sorry. All right. So, the trap has been set. James... Oh, and I forgot. I forgot, guys. There's another thing that we are not introducing This should, should have been my job to point out to begin with. You have different ways you can work. You can work carefully. Ah. Uh, plus 1D to okay. anything you're doing, but it's very time-consuming. Yeah, I got you. You can work patiently, uh, which affects the overall product once it's done. Or you can work quickly, mm -hmm. which will reduce yeah. your time. 
Yeah. Nope, it's not. Uh-huh. If I job is just it makes your time faster. For every success that you get over your obstacle, the faster you do it, is the faster you do it. Okay. Can huh. you just say we did it quick? Um, no, I mean this. Yeah. 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 There's rules about whether you can do it before or after. Gotcha. Um, I have instincts that actually allow me to work carefully and patiently whenever I'm tinkering. <laughs> so, like, if I were to have led that test, maybe I could have. Yeah. From before too, like apply so, that after the fact, so just because I have an instinct. But James got it, and then when he finished up the last little bit, he just put it down. He's like, "Okay, okay." And I'm all like, "Should <laughs> I move?" He's no. like, <laughs> he, he puts it down <laughs> like it's a nuclear bomb. He's he's got it. And he's holding the trap, and he's holding the rope and keeping it from springing. As he's kind of like nodding, you know, everybody or he's nodding, you know, Sam over and Sam's got leaves and he's just, you know, real carefully putting the leaves on the trap and, you know, he's still like just real like he's diffusing a bomb over here, you know, just noticeably like real worried. And, you know, I go and jump on the trap. Just kidding. <laughs> Let's see if this orc is worth his salt. <laughs> just kidding. Just joking. So, I'm not doing that. So. All right, let's move on. So he sets the trap, and he's real, you know, kind of steps back, and you see he's kind of, his back's a little bit straighter, and he feels pretty accomplished, feels pretty good about it. All right, and I'm going to light a candle. Give you one more dice. Yeah, I didn't didn't use it. You didn't use the extra dice? No, I didn't. Now, I lit, what I want to do is light a candle and put it in the seat of the cart as if someone is there. Okay. The right. trap is concealed very well. Do you want to disguise for this card? It's it's already disguised. You disguised you it. Another disguise for the lantern guy? We'll we'll say that your disguise helped goes. and you just disguise everything. Yeah. You the lantern there. So here's what I want to do. On it, they'll be like, okay, this is somebody's shit. I mean, here okay. here is why I'm saying that. Here is why I'm saying that. Okay. I want there. I want a candle to be there to attract attention to the cart so that we know we have a good trap. We can tell the work is accomplished. We want to draw something to it to snare it while we leave with the mule. I know that men can't see in the dark, so I'm going to lead him by the hand, and his wolf, I guess, can help him, and we are going to go in the pitch dark to the cave that we are going to so we cannot be tracked. This breakdown may have worked to our advantage, and I want to make it work to our advantage. I right. got you. And can I help with my tracking on this if we have to roll and say that I'm covering up our footsteps in the back because I'm paranoid? If we have to do this, I hope so. <laughs> if we have to do it. Hayes yeah. has to be the arbiter of that. It could be not to. a big deal. I'm just trying to add on fucking role play. Okay. Hell yeah. So, as you guys get everything set, you reluctantly turn your backs to the cart, start walking down your oh. weary path. <laughs> a sudden, what? no, I was just wondering why I had yeah. such a ridiculous it's crease. Been... Oh yeah, something happened. Worry about that. Uh, Rachel pushed me off the couch and I fell on my book. God damn it, Rachel! <laughs> yeah, that's why the book had a big crease in the back. And I was yes. like, you, I'd said, yes. you pushed me off the couch and I fell on it. <laughs> so anyway, as you guys you know, get probably 30 yards away, this way, you hear something. Ah! Does it sound like a trap? No, it does not sound like the trap. Is it coming from that direction? It of the sounds car? like some sort of hooved animal. Is... Uh, I got it. Sorry. Is it coming, coming up very fast from, so I hear, from, from I hear. the direction that you were that you were on? You can hear it. You can all hear it. So it's coming from in front of us and not behind us. Well, it's coming from behind. You guys were walking away from the cart. It's coming up to the cart. I want to immediately step in between the noise and Zvi because I know he doesn't like hosts. Okay. I would probably lead to the shadows as fast as I could. I'm just going to step up right beside Titus and just, like, raise my hammer out and forward. And throw up on my arrow. And just be like, what What does Zwei see? Why? I will wait for Brent to get back. All right. got to pee again anyway. I'm, I'll be real quick. I'm here. I'm listening to you guys on the mic. You can talk. You can continue without me. Okay. 
It's my character. It's my character probably thinks you just get nervous. As, as, as I'm going into the shadows, I do. <laughs> so as you hear all this racket, all this noise, Zwy, and you said you want to issue the, the command to Zwy to see what what he can find out, right? Yeah, but I okay. want to try to stay in, like not in front of him in case like he starts going off. But I want to try to make sure I'm near. Him. All right. How do you want him to determine? How do you want him to look? Do you want him to actually see with eyesight? But I'll tell you, with why, remember, he's got a four perception, but if he's smelling or hearing... Yeah, he's got wolf snout. It's plus two, so he'll have a six in perception. How loud does this sound? You can ask him what it smells you can like. Just, you can just hear it. It's like it's coming closer. It's like it's from the end of the tunnel, and it's booking. It's like and booking up. I, I can't get out of this tunnel at all. I cannot... No. Go into the nope. to the brush. All right. You are trapped. If someone were to open fire, you so, I don't know how I'm going. You would have, have to roll your speed. I don't know how Zvi could tell me how many there are. Or so how I couldn't hide though, right? No, can't There's hide. No, There's no, no way to hide. You guys are just out <laughs> in the open. No hiding. I throw up. My, I throw up on my arrows and I throw my boots. Well, okay. I stick. I stick my dagger inside his throat. Okay. Why? Well, I was cooking, I'm gonna stick my dagger in it. He's like, come on, man, I'm trying to do something. I know what this does. I know what that does. Okay, so as you guys are getting ready, how did you want Zwy to search? Uh smell by scent. Okay. Go ahead. I'm gonna say Did you just smell that Zwar? This'll be graduated. It's gonna be a graduated test. It's gonna be a routine test. There's no obstacle. Roll your six dice. We'll see how many successes you get. There's no fork in that, right? Nope. Nope. I mean... I get fork tracking? No, no, it's a skill. It's a it's a stat, so he can't... He can't I was going to say, I get fork tracking just because I know these pathways. Oh, uh, hey, real quick. Stats can help stats. Yeah. But, uh, I wouldn't belabor it. No, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you holding me? Is there no... There's no explosions on this. There's no... Boom. I got four. I got five. I got, got five. Okay. Yeah, that's... You got five. Man, Man, those exploded. That was three explosions. Yeah. So, as Y seems to kind of lean out, he's got his nose <coughs> now. You can definitely tell he's sniffing the air. He's kind of bristles up, and he starts making these these odd noises. And it's uh, just this sound that <coughs> maybe one other person in the party can understand. Perception check. Uh, nope, it's James. We don't yeah. have to do a perception check. Yeah. Right. It's vile language. Right. It was vile language? Yeah, yeah. vile language. He, he, he speaks vile language also. Maybe it was me. Uh, what orc, what, uh, what Zwy is basically saying, you can kind of make out it's kind of garbled because he's a fool. You can hear the word goblins. Mm. It's he not says, bad. You hear the word goblins, cart, and then you hear the number five. So, guys, mm. there's five carts goblin. Wait. There's five goblins in a cart. That's what Zwar is saying. What the fuck is Twinkle saying? Or, the fuck, are you sure he doesn't mean at our cart? Oops. If we hear I can hear the hooves. Exactly. <laughs> so that, that means it can't be our car. We're 30 yards away. Gentlemen, my eyes suggest. Can see Wouldn't we be able to see our car? You can see the car. Yeah, it's not you our car. see the car today. <laughs> okay, great. What am I saying? So the trap. Car. My eyes suggest the trap has done what we want it, wanted it to do. Let's continue to the cave. Time is of the essence. So are you sure? I'm going to. But Bar door, are you sure you just want to leave your cart? Yeah, and if you do, think about it. If we get these goblins' cart, we can use their cart and not have to leave your stuff behind. I'm going to check the cart. <sighs> you can see the cart. From there. All right, looks like the spotlight's on Brent here. I'm going to check the trap. Why are you going to check the trap? We can see the cart. 
You like, can, I can physically you, see the car. There's you guys ahead. are like 30 yards away from the car. There's no, nothing going on. The only thing that's obstructing you is the cart. Itself. You cannot see what is coming because the cart is in the way. And the trap is right beside the cart. You know where the see. trap is, and you can see the trap, and you can see the trap is not been sprung. Not been uh, sprung. So Correct. What do we know? Right. What do we know about goblins? They're poo heads that want to take everything they can. I'm gonna just sit in the shadows for half a second. Pretty much. Then. Yeah, you can't really say you don't know. because most orcs. You don't know. People hate. No, orcs. I'm just saying is that what their normal nature is? Because nope. you know what normal. You don't know. Orc I'm going back to the court. You don't have goblins. I'm stealthily going know. back to the check court. Can't really right. stealthily go back yeah. to the car, man. You're out That's of the open. There's no way. <laughs> All right. Well then, I am going back to check the car with my agility. One thing. I'm does going it, back with the quickness. Does it seem like we can Three stealth outrun them? Could we? Because they're on a board. You can't ask me what to do. Yeah. Like what to do? You, you have, have to, to make the decision. You can ask me, but I'm just gonna tell you <laughs> I don't know. Okay. And if you persist, okay. if you're like, what are they gonna do? I'll be like, roll your perception. And if you fail, I'll be like, you don't know. You don't know what they do. <laughs> <laughs> Are these goblins I'll smart enough? Well, your perception. You don't know if they're smart. All right, well, before okay, I charge off to do anything, I'm going to check my observation. Because I can see a distance. Maybe I'll catch a glimpse of someone's elbow, a glimpse of something moving oh, over yeah. top of this car that I can't see because it's in my direction. But the, you, you're saying you want to know what it is when we already know what it is, right? No, I'm wanting to make sure it's on my cart. I, mean, I want to make they're sure They're not on the cart yet. They are not on our cart yet. You guys have the mule with you, so the hooves are not your mule's hooves. Right. The cart cannot move anywhere because the wheel is completely gone. The cart would pull apart if you tried to move it. And it's just goblins. It is just goblins. It's, that's what your wolf is saying. Mm -hmm. All right. He didn't tell us how far. He 30. said goblins, Listen. four, five, five, and hooves. That's all he said. All right, now. Well, now, I'm going to leave it up to Bardor because it's his stuff. Yeah. Now listen, my mule is a strong mule, and I'm I'm sure he can haul whatever treasure we have if the car is in danger. You're not worried about your other belongings at all? Look, I carried some of my most valuable tools with me. The things that are part of the cart can stay. I'm just concerned about getting the treasure out of the cave. All right. Okay. Do you want a distraction? Do you want a distraction for these goblins? Let them be distracted. Yes, absolutely. All right. I am loud and boisterous. Do not. <laughs> now. You know, don't let me I take care of that. Say, I didn't know how to play. You guys this. can do if you want to try. If you feel strongly about fighting these goblins, no. You can roll your will we against the dwarf's will. To try to persuade him, mm. or their whatever their persuasion skills or are. Or whatever the persuasion is. No. I, I think no. I think if he thinks. Or you should... could let the dwarf go. Yeah. Let the dwarf it's, go. it's his deal. I'm yeah. just asking if he needs a distraction of sorts because what am I supposed to do here? When engaged, always tip the distraction. So. It's up to you guys. What nah, do you want to do? I don't follow. It's up to you, man. It's up to you. I mean, I'm yeah. sitting there, and the dwarf. You know, I'm gonna put it in third person. Like our oh. door is like. I want to go to, you know, we set the trap, we set a diversion, I think we've succeeded, let's go to the cave and okay. get busy. This isn't worth my life to distract on. We'll handle the goblins when we get out. Yeah. Maybe if one of them gets trapped and poisoned, there would only be like three, and then All we right. can just pick them off later. Alright, well, just you guys sure all good. turn your back to the cart. How long is As you walk on, you hear the, the hoof. We caught the, the horse and none of the goblins. Louder and louder, and as you get maybe 10 more yards away, you're probably about up 40 yards now, you kind of glance over your shoulder, see a cart, see a horse. Not a mule, a horse. One goblin is riding the horse. The other four jump off of the cart, mm. and they're on the ground there, surrounding Bardor's cart. I am going to actually... No, we still don't need the... Oh, the one, one is... of them does not see the trap. He's snared by the trap, pulled up into the trees. His comrades laugh. They just sit there and kind of laugh at him, and then they meticulously start breaking apart the car to pieces. They're ripping off boards. They're but, pulling apart wheels. They are completely dismantling the cart to take back. Damn, I feel okay, like I'm in the ghetto. And the other one is still coming after our way, right? No. Okay. The one is also on the horse. Guys. He is... <clears throat> they have a cart that they are loading Bardor's cart into. 
Well, Bardor doesn't have anything to say about it, then leave him alone. Look, I know goblins, they run in packs. There could be more. We need to just get to this cave and get the treasure. Don't you agree, Orc? This is the treasure that you are seeking. Maybe once we get it, maybe once we get the treasure, we'll have enough power to take these guys on. I just don't want to get ran over by a cart and a horse. Uh, dude, they're, they're not even paying. We're, they might no, they're not paying attention to you guys at all. Yeah. They are just... If I know you're so thing, far away. In the shadows. You are so far away and they're on their horse that they can just ride off. If traps you, work, guys. You're right. You're right. right. Dwarf, the traps work. Let's go. <laughs> The trap worked. Hey, the trap worked, you know. We got something. When the trap goes off, I'm happy about it. Let's let's get out of here. This is a fucking ghetto. (laughs) (laughs) Come back. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying, man. Spare tires and we got a center point hostage in the back. uh, I didn't even get to the hotel and I got robbed. (laughs) Why do you have a wizard shirt? A shirt? Was your shirt? That's what Zeppelin, Zeppelin dumbass. You? <laughs> I didn't black see a Led Zeppelin. You were black as hell, James. No, I, didn't, I, I thought you were kind of white. I didn't see that. <laughs> no, no, shut the fuck up. I don't even know about the Zepp. No. I don't know. I'll, that's probably a different album coming in on YouTube. I know what yeah, This is the Lantern. Stay away to heaven, though. No. Yes. No, no, this no. This is the Lantern. That's a wizard <laughs> with a Lantern. Uh, <laughs> anyway, back to, the, back to the game. So. Jeez, James. I know, Brad. You guys are just kind of shaking your head. You know, you guys just feel like you just could have done something. Could have maybe fired an arrow at the goblins, at least taken one, thrown a knife, taken one out. But we did. You wanted to follow the dwarf's lead, and the dwarf doesn't seem to really care. He's kind of got his head held high. He's got his trusty map. He's just walking on. He's, not, he's acting on like it didn't even phase him. So, I'm desperate. <laughs> you guys follow the dwarf. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so guys go for I'll okay, say about way. four or five hours on foot. Okay. And oh, yeah. tired. You now it's been the the sun has been setting this entire time. Can, I, can I reach out a scavenge for like some food and stuff for us? Uh, Are we out of this tunnel? It's or, just flavored. I mean, you can't. You don't. We don't. You don't really have to. Yeah, he's gonna come back in. Uh, you don't really have to scavenge for food and stuff like that. We'll wait for Shane to get back. Because I, I'm not going to make it to be like where you got to eat. Yeah, I was going to say, I was yeah. just say just so we can eat yeah. and be well rested yeah. or whatever. You can do that. Yeah. Yeah. I would recommend. Wow. Well, could I, while well, this, I want to, I want to, I'll look at Brad. I'm going to look at his wolf. I'm look at Brad. <sighs> and I'm like, hmm. ever thought about riding that wolf? At times. We have a close enough bond, I would say now. Uh, for me to well, I haven't even bought a harness. Resources, man. Hmm. Why do you think he's doing that? Oh, maybe. Come on, come on Twinkles. Maybe we could uh, strike a deal. Oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And then I and since up. you're a comrade, I'll give you a better deal. Or this. <laughs> I already knew you had that. I could see. I just had to make sure you knew how magnificent it was. Uh, oh, great. Now it's got poison. Get on it. You start hiding it or something? Yeah. What do you say? Are you human? Yes. You <coughs> can't call him like Mr. Elf or anything. Mr. Elf? Yeah. Get on the ground. He's not an elf. <coughs> What do you say? You haven't said what you needed yet. Yeah, you said strike a deal. Deals are But all I heard is you're gonna give me that. Well, you don't have money, right? No, not on me. You said you didn't. So maybe, since I require some uh, class, maybe teach you. To teach you what? How, how to find your treasure? I don't know what you no, want. No, kind of. You tracked me. So I can engage in everyday parlay with civil races. So pretty much teach me so etiquette. Right. I know. Uh, so you're trying to that. move up in the world. In, in a matter of ways. So he's trying to become educated. I mean, trying to sense. become more social. Which makes sense. Yeah. Look at me. I'm a crazy elf that lives in the woods. He wants to be better. Than well, sadly, right now we have no paper. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can teach me how to speak better. 
I can find his paper. Speak no anyway. better. Speak How better. to speak your language. <laughs> your language. Your language. I was trying speak to mess the, that up. Speak it to Angry. I, I got some paper right here. Pretty sure I do. Speak better. Well, I guess. I, I can teach you how to read or write or. I know how to read and write. Just. Bang, you? Just like. <laughs> yes! Actually. How to behave. You don't know how to read and write. <laughs> you don't have the skill. I thought you had, Wait. Wait. You have to have the skill. Yes. What are you saying? That's why when I was like. Ask skills. That's why I was like. I didn't know that. That's why I was like a tie skill. That's why I was like, fuck it. That's why I was saying like. You've been living out in the damn woods. You with yourself. Well, you said. I was are so pretty smart. I was like. I don't know how to read. Okay. And write. I guess That's everybody in the game. Though. It's not just orcs. Like humans yeah. don't know how to read and write unless they take the skill. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Then read and write also. Let's also. Look there. Any, any kind of etiquette and. Or... I don't mind showing you how oh. to do these things. Well, hey, mind hey, showing hey, hey, hey. For the price of this. For the benefit of the group, can I just learn also? You can sit in. Just Thank be you. in attendance when I'm teaching him. I guess. Just let me know. I'll be there. Sounds like somebody's gonna have to learn instructions. Oh yeah. Are you? Are you? So you're telling me this man is skilled in the ways of instruction? No, I didn't even think about that. Yep. Sure am. Are you? I might sit in for a lesson or two myself. No, he's not. I can read dwarf, but I can't read. <laughs> I like it, bro. <laughs> I, like I can read, I can read yeah. runes, but not... Now, the thing is... I like it so that, much. That's interesting about this, and this is a mechanic I've been reading about, but we've not touched on it at all. Yeah. That is actually something that you test for. You can actually yeah. test for him teaching, yeah. and it takes a certain amount of time a day. I get that. But we'll, we'll touch on that later. Yeah. As long as yeah. we're in agreement that... We would like to teach all ignorant motherfuckers how to read and write. And the better part on top of that is he doesn't know how to, so he's got to learn how to instruct us. Yep. Nice. But That's we don't actually... know that, so we're just agreeing because he said he knew how to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, so when we're, like, bookkeeping during this campaign, we'll um, fill out the hours that we spent listening to Brad teach us uh, how to read and write. Correct. At the end, when we're going over everything. Well, well, yeah, exactly. It's just bookkeeping. It's not going to be a big scene. I got bro. No, I don't. I need more stories. <laughs> nah, I, I just I want to get to this damn cave and get the shit yeah. out of it. I want to get treasure. Okay. <laughs> you find like a so do we, we have to rest life. since it's been like almost all day? Uh, I will like say... I can work through the night. I'm a dwarf. I'm hardy. The, the, sun, the sun is setting, and obviously... Your counterparts, they're all immortal. They will not die unless it is by another's hand. So they... He needs, he needs not rest, really, though. Exactly. So, that's up to the party. That's what y'all want to do. Okay, well, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and start to notice. you got to lobby, you got to lobby with the dwarf. The dwarf wants to get to the cave. That's what I'm saying. Um, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and notice, and I'll roll perception on it, that, that our human we're companion... Out, we're out of the woods, by the way. We have, You've made it lost, out of the tunnel. We've lost my woods now. Gotcha. Well... Let me I tell can you. say that it is near. We can say that it's near your place. We'll say it's near your place right now. The other side of the woods, your stash is near. No. I am hitting this cave. I am going to walk mean... away from you guys and go hit this cave up right now. What's up? Like, if we all don't go, that. like, if you guys decide not to go, I'm going in alone. No, no, even if I'm tired, I, I gotta, I'm honor bound with you. Yeah, see, trust me, the pay will be well. A will, the then will I guess. We'll check on the dwarf. Right, you can roll your wills. You can roll your wills against each other. And see I don't, if you I don't know. So, you want to oh, okay. Okay, so Brent, you want to make camp? He wants. I, I want your companion to rest, is what I want. Okay, you want me to rest. Okay. No, he wants Brad to rest. <laughs> Brad's well, let, let me tell you this. Let me tell you this, Alf. That's okay. a perfect thing, right? Yeah, sir. All you. right, I don't want you mending any of your... Our own stuff. I'm going to take care of it. I want you to be my friend. That is going to be the deal. Okay? I will accept any friend, but what I'm what I'm saying is our, our other friend here, your friend, your companion, needs rest. I'm good. I'm good. Three out of four fort safe. We are going into this cave. Yeah. All right. You All got right, to do it then. So, this is good. It looks like Okay, so I don't have anything to bargain for, so you're just going to have to roll against my will, buddy. 
Let me, let me help. <coughs> nope, you can't, you can't assist. This is a straight-up versus test. It's will versus two. will. Two. I got two. Uh, you're going to have to test raw against my will because you are, you are trying to convince me against my will. What does that mean? Explain to me on that. All right. You, that is going to be persuasion. You are not skilled in persuasion. No. So yeah. what did you roll, Shane? I'm not rolling. He has to test against my will of B5. Okay. I failed. Yeah. I, mean, I failed. Unless he can convince me that I have some kind of stake, like, in this I matter. The stake is if your companion dies here, obviously we're going to be down a man, and we need this other person and his wolf who we might lose control of if he dies. Well, look, I will claim I will claim in front of our entire party right now that we need to head in this cave. Okay, I'll back down. I believe. Okay, you. so so now I'm gonna roll unskilled persuasion against you to convince everyone to go into the cave. That's what's at stake for me. I'm realizing right now. Yeah, well, everybody's gonna go with you. I just back down off that. Oh, you're gonna back down off the thing? If you if you say you're that important, Mr. Mapkeeper, the key holder, then yes. But I am convinced that we need to hit this treasure. There's goblins in the area. Somebody else could pick it up before we do. You know, we got to get in there quickly. How do you feel if we lose a comrade? Uh, I care a lot. I care very much. Can you convince me? Can you convince me not to hand, not to walk into this cave? We move in and maybe scout for a little bit. This human, he needs rest. That's what you said, right? And humans, goes, humans don't have the resilience. How do I feel animals. after making a three out of four four save? Well, that's the shit I need to know, because I'm going off, I'll, I will do a perception check to see how he's feeling. Does it cover exhaustion in the book, Shane? Uh, oh, that's a GM thing. You could just be like, he's getting exhausted, getting tired, <laughs> test your fort to see if you can I'll stay awake all night. In my defense, just remember, we rested a lot, and I haven't really done anything while they did all these traps. Okay. That's true, you, you could have yeah. slept. I think Brad is asserting himself and saying... The thing is, you he can say walking. you rested, but Brad walked the whole way, and he didn't ride in the cart at all. Mm -hmm. So there, also, was, there was no rest when yep. the car was going. So you walked that entire yep. way, miles. Yep. You have walked miles. Yep. To me, regardless, he looks tired. Like, I don't I even mean, need to roll. He looks tired. He is tired. So what I'll say... We might exalt a party member if we keep going. It's what I'm saying. I will say this is what's at stake. If... We could get ambushed. If... You're right. We could. If you rest some way, then Brad's character will be fine. If not, Brad will be exhausted, and he will take... I think it's a plus one ob. To plus everything. one ob to all rolls for anything. George, what do you know about this cake? Can we get inside of it and maybe secure it a little bit? Will it be safer inside? We get, that's up to us, I guess. We could attempt to set another trap at the cave while we rest there. <laughs> that's what I'm, I'm getting you to role play. It's your story now. Yeah, but either way, I'm going straight to where all the treasure is in that cave. I'm not resting until I get it. That's what I want. And I will argue with you for it by rolling can dice. I, since I did all that, can I have marching? Skill being learned? I will say you're learning marching. I will allow that. I am going to actually look at Brad now and I'm, I'm physically ask him. It's up to Brad. Does he want to take the obstacle? Do you, I do have, you need to rest? I have been training my whole life to wear armor and move about. I I believe I am good. I feel fine. I am willing to take Brent to a simple duel of wits over this with base will as, the, as our disposition. Or roll simple dice over it. Wait a minute. What's, what's your will, Brent? Four. Shane, what's your will? Five. Okay, how about this? How would you be willing to just roll will versus will, not persuasion unskilled? Well, I'm going to roll persuasion unskilled either way, Eight. so I will take that if you don't give me the double option. What is, is Actually, if Brent I does... hold the saddle at him, I say, want to do me a solid? <laughs> I would say... Because, I, I mean, Brent, are you skilled in persuasion? 
just this is just a rules thing. No. So if we're both rolling on skill, there's no double obstacle penalty. We just roll our wills versus each other and mark a check for persuasion. <coughs> and the party members can help whoever they want to help. Hmm? I would say... But it's up to Hayes. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, it's all good. I give a shame. I would say Zwei would... would uh, he would not be hostile if you... Just held. If you held it out, he would just look at it. Like it's not a big deal. He he wouldn't give a shit. He wouldn't give a shit. So I put it on him. I'm like, do you care? He doesn't care. He doesn't he care. Doesn't, he doesn't mind at all. All right. Well, I'm gonna try to get on top of him for writing. And as I'm doing this, I'm gonna pet him and say, I owe you one. Okay. Yes, that will course. work. So, we're not going to do any sort of versus. I got a few real quick. The okay. wolf okay. has sorry, accepted sorry. Titus as a rider. Okay. And you continue on your trip. All right. Now. So, so in other words, Brad, like, Titus is willing to go on. Is that what you're saying? Correct. Titus, <coughs> Titus is indifferent. He is a okay. gigantic beast of great strength. So carrying someone like Brad is nothing okay. more than like a human carrying a backpack. Okay. Well, I would want I would want my companion to want to agree to go with me. So this this please. I would have gone even if he said no. Even if he growled at me a little bit, I would have yeah. kept walking. But I also want to tell Titus that on. I mean not Titus. Uh, Zvi that if he wants me to get off, just growl a little bit. Okay. If he starts to get tired, since he's been walking all day with me. All right. So as long as Brent agrees, as long as Sam agrees, sorry. Brent agrees, and what I'll do, um, he won't take the ob. He won't take the ob penalty because he'll be riding. So okay, so he's resting. Okay. He will. He will have the chance to rest as he is riding his Y. All right. So we'll call it a good idea. Right. So we'll say that that settled that dispute. All right. Because I was willing to go to town to argue this thing out. I want to get in there right now. All right. So, you just want to get in there, or you actually want to get the, the treasure? I want to get in there and get the treasure. I want to get. I want to sap that dungeon of everything it's worth and get it back to my, get it back to town so I can build myself a workshop. That's my main goal. I'm How are you going to carry if there's a lot of loot in there? My mule, my mule can help me with that. Okay. Well, so you've seen like, and I can build a makeshift cart if I need to. The Spanish, like in Mexico, they got the mules with the big ass like yeah. sacks on its side, and they just like counterweight. Yeah, and it's, going just, to it's just like counterweight. That's We're all it is, basically. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm ask um, Wardor if, since I'm helping him on his quest, after you establish your what is it, armor, <laughs> or mm -hmm. would you be able to help me on mine? After you, uh, wait, what do you need help with? He is asking if you once have... your quest is completed, will you assist him on his? I will help James in making sure that this quest is completed with, obviously. Secret. Well, if this is completed successfully, I can guarantee my friendship. Okay, yes, that's a yes. Guarantee your friendship to everyone in party? Absolutely. Whoever, whoever comes through and doesn't prove themselves a traitor. Uh, to, our, to our cause together. Yeah. Yeah. Who's Roger? <laughs> if you prove yourself a, tra a traitor, you are dead to me. You are dead to me. Roger, do you love him more? Is, Is he bigger than me? <laughs> no one's bigger than me. I'm the biggest. <laughs> yeah. You know, and like he's, Bardur is like talking, you know, amongst my people, we swear oaths. <coughs> I expect you to keep this promise. Or prove yourself a liar. I hold you to that. I've met many of your kind in the forest. <laughs> nope. Look like Th those were gnomes, okay. not dwarves. No, they're actually <laughs> dwarves. <laughs> I got a weird backstory for circles if you want it. Oh, nice, nice. Well, maybe we'll roll on that later. Yeah. Uh, the traveling merchants. So how much? Right. Oh yeah, I have. Where we are. Actually, well, it's too late. It's too late now. Merchants, I know dwarves. I wanted to get one of my cousins to join us. Oh, nice. But, circles? yeah, since we're about to head in this cave, 
Okay, I'm going to roll my circles. That's a two. I have a reputation with the Dwarven Traders. I th okay. Oh, with Adson Traders? Or, sorry, an affiliation with uh, Dwarven uh, Traders in the area. And uh, I want hmm. one of my cousins. One of my cousins runs a route through here, and I think he might be coming back this way shortly. Not a woman. Damn. All right. Hayes, what's my obstacle? No, 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 no. Okay. Uh, dwarf woman? Let me see. Let me see. Who's your cousin? I know that guy. Hey, three. <laughs> His name is <laughs> Farb. You wouldn't happen to know any dwarf women, would you? <laughs> they are a rare secret among my people. I cannot He's speak not to them. Not question. <laughs> yeah. Looks at you. He, he just remains mute. <laughs> like, I know, I know you. Why why you it doesn't matter. I know you twinkle is calm down. I'm gonna show you what happens next time you do your thing around the ladies. <laughs> Need that as a warning. Hang on, I might have they a. Like it, man. What's the problem? There is no problem, but I'm gonna show you the problem next time you do this around the ladies. Need that as a warning. Do what? As a companion. Mm. Your instinct, there, crazy. You oh. stand and drool. So. I'm gonna show you what happens. They love it. I'm convinced. <laughs> they love it. And uh, this man also work. This dwarf also works for my dad. Oh snap! So he will be sympathetic to our cause. Okay. And I'm gonna give. So I'm at four right now. Four dice. So, all right. So you're at a four. And I will grant you. Be pretty, by the way. An advantage. It's up to you. GM will grant you an advantage yeah, die. Right, I'm trying to think what this advantage might be. The I have the map. <laughs> is dwarven treasure. Uh, the thing that dwarves love more than anything. It's treasure. It's treasure. Treasure and things of their heritage, who, ancient things. Do dwarves have their own guards too that follow around their caravans, or do they hire people from the human industry? Dwarves are just badasses. They fucking okay. just roll. Okay. They just roll in full armor. Right? Ain't nobody gonna stop them. Right. Fair enough. Fair enough. So. Well, yeah, you just gotta let me know my obstacle. Oh, right do here. I know who's your up? obstacle? What a shame, way. How many people are you lobbying for? How many people are you gonna try and summon? I have a, I have one cousin. I have one cousin who might run a route in this area, and I hope he is running it right now. And we will run into him. I will say, there we go. I'll four. All right, I'm a roll. Let's do it. Have four from this? Nope. No, not a nope. circle stuff. All right. You cannot help a man out on circle stuff. Thanks, sure. Right now, I'm rolling five dice. Okay, five on a four for a four and a five. Wow. Four successes on five dice. Big ass penis tower you going on. All right, I am going to. Should I spend a fate point? I'm not going to spend any points, and uh, I'm going to let you tell me what I get. I got one success. You got one success. One good. So, with your one success... You're fun, dead, and goblins laughing. You called upon your circle. Stop that. Oh, right. You're mixing my dice up no. with the other the undesirable dice. Don't do can it. I, can I tell you? Can I describe what I was doing? Yeah, what were you to doing? To help you out? How were you trying to contact So we were walking along, and we were getting close to the cave, and I, I have a, a guttural dwarf uh, song that I sing, and I start just, like, singing it out, like, belting out, hoping my uh, companion's in the area, and he'll start singing back to me. It's really loud. Okay. Now, you singing again? One of his songs you his hear a response to your song. But ah, that's my cousin. Let's go to him. Wait a minute. Wait, what? what? You hear yeah. the response to the song. Hey, cousin. And <laughs> it within, I mean, you don't have to walk far. I mean, it's it's just going to be, you know, basically you're shouting where you are. You're shouting <laughs> per the map where you are. Yeah. So basically the response you get is, I will be right there. All so, right. You guys sit around, you wait, you wait for about 25, 30 minutes, and after a little bit of time, you see 
just a figure. You see somebody coming up over a hill. Well, while we're waiting, I'll get off. Get a little so, short. Uh, as he is walking and as he gets closer, you realize, hey, man, this ain't no damn dwarf. This guy's a little bit, a little bit taller than a dwarf. I love the bushes. No, you, don't need to do that. you don't need to do that. I am just going to do it because that's okay. my character. Well, you can does. stop. You can stop in the bushes. So this guy is kind of skinny, kind of kind of wormy looking, man. He doesn't look like there's much to him. He's kind of hunched over a little bit like uh, like he's seen some rough times. Uh, like he's got a lot, of, a lot of trouble. This is the man. Here. This is the man I was looking for. I don't look like a uh, dwarf, man. So as as everybody, he's, like, he's a cousin he's twice talking. removed. I'm gonna take. <laughs> oh, he's going a brief. Oh. Like, I'm just gonna chill in my branch now. Okay. So as as the guy walks up, he hands a slip of paper to the dwarf. The dwarf looks at it. <laughs> the dwarf can't read at all, so he, the dwarf, you know, kind of hands it over, hands it over to to Titus. And I yell at the dwarf, "Hey, what does that uh, say?" Just to make fun of us. As Titus. <laughs> As Titus is reading the letter, it becomes very, uh, very apparent that your oh, dwarven yeah. cousins don't really care about your plight, and they don't really care about uh, about your treasure because they have more impressing matters. And the note mm. kind of details that there are better things to do than to chase legends. So instead, mm. they sent one of their <laughs> Helpers from the city. All right. Nothing to see how noticeably bad he is compared to the other ones. And his name is Zig. Is what his name is. Uh, Bardor. Do you know of this Zig? Well, my cousins employ many, and I believe I have heard of this Zig. Is it he a may, one he one? may come in use for us yet. He does have a carriage. Maybe as He does not have a carriage. He walks. Oh, he's just just him? He is just walking. Just him. Yep, in the trees, my guy. They pin the fucking note to his wah. shirt and we're like, go that way. And he walked over the hills. He's walking straight. All right, guys. I get a bonus if I try to call Zig. <laughs> but let me tell you, I get a bonus if I try to call Zig up sometime in the future. And I think we can use Zig to our advantage. Zig looks like he weighs maybe 120 pounds yeah. with lead in his pocket. All right. He doesn't even care. Zig. Zig. probably bite Zig in half. He doesn't even care. He looks I'll... like he can't even carry a sword. Jesus. All right, turn Zig, Zig listen. This, this is my last Zig. liability. Zig, listen to me. <laughs> I know you are just a messenger. But bitch. Will you help us in our case? We know that if you stand here in this spot, that there is a magical barrier that you will defuse. <laughs> and uh, we would really need your help doing that <laughs> while we are on our mission. Seriously, I'm not in the tree anymore. I roll it all. And I hand him a. I want to hand him a torch. I am reaching out with the torch, and I light it. I light it up out of my traveling gear, and I hand it to him, and I say, "Hold this torch tonight." Right there. Here's some bread and a little gold for your troubles. Don't move, buddy. Don't move. So what Zig does? This is in the dead of night. Zig reaches out and he takes the torch from you. He <laughs> reaches out, takes the bread, and he throws both of them up in the air. And in one swift movement, <laughs> pulls a bow off of his back, notches an arrow, and shoots the arrow and cuts the loaf in half in the air. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Puts his bow back and catches the torch and the two pieces of bread as they fall. Damn. He hands okay. one back to the dwarf and says, don't underestimate me. You want some butter? Then takes a bite of the bread and walks off. God damn it, man. God damn it, we have an enemy. While he's walking off, I said, in honor of respect, be aware that there's goblins right over there. He just nods. He just nods and passes. I'm still giggling. All right, uh, I put him under my name circles, but I'm putting him under enemy circles at this point. 
Because <laughs> he made you look like a fool, baby. Yes, I'm giving up this fight. Let's go to the cave and get fellas. So, okay. <laughs> Can we take, like, three minutes to go smoke? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's take a break. Everybody, let's, let's All go. All right. We're at the entrance. That's weird, though. That was really, like... That was good. That was good. I figured. Like, really, your, your, your dwarfs are like, they, they don't care, so they said zig. <laughs> Send the badass. He's not a dwarf. He's this little dude. He's probably getting killed on his way out there. Just send them. I didn't even know he had a boat. I didn't. That was nice. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna pee real quick. Yeah, Zig is the fucking like <coughs> raving, stark raving mad lunatic that that I created. That's why I'm laughing so hard because I'm a little <laughs> crazy. I can't <laughs> see what he's doing. <laughs> And I kind of caught on to it. That's why I even put my head in front of the door. Uh, kind of. Oh, man, my brother was going to be a badass with the whole area. Holy crap. Bro. My brother's still at the bar shop. You know what time he normally closes? Damn, that's crazy. He's cutting hair, man. He's like, I'm getting dollar, dollar bills, y'all. Getting them dollar, dollar bills. True blood. True blood. True blood. She's watching. She's watching. Reels. I didn't even touch anything. True blood. She looked away from the screen. It's one of those phones. Oh my god. Yeah. It pause the video if you call her. She can wave her. She can answer with her hand. Yeah, she's watching True Blood. I told her to watch Game of Thrones. You need to. Hey Hayes. Yay. While oh, she's watching True Blood. She's getting into what it. Season? She's getting balls deep. Balls. She was balls deep in that eight year old. He was screaming like a motherfucker. Boy, was it awkward when him and mom came really. No. I, 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 haven't seen, I haven't seen season three and four. Season two was pretty awesome, though. Yeah. Her boobs are getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> a lot of people seem to hate season three because of the stuff going on with like Bill and Eric and Spooky and all the stuff. Yeah. Apparently, a lot of people were upset because they were wanting her to be with Bill, but they say in the book she would never was with Bill. Bill was an asshole from the beginning. Yeah. A dude with a shield and an axe lost to a two-handed person? So, James. I lost yeah. my cart, homie. I lost my damn cart. <laughs> we told you. He didn't want to go back for it. Fuck the cart, man. We got a treasure to get. I can build a new cart. That cart's <laughs> worthless to me. <laughs> well, it, it was worth something. You know, it was worth... It. I, I prize and value my possessions. Mm -hmm. And, uh... I'm not going... I'm going to tell you right... I'm going to tell you right now. I'll oh, go ahead. As moral support, I'll tell you that once we... Once, like, as I'm saying it as if it's 100% fact. When we restore your honor and you make your father realize that you need to be accepted... And that you truly deserve his honor, we will get a piece of your cart and we'll use that as a legacy for you to remember by in our adventure. <laughs> Can I get bells and whistles on my cart, Brad? Bells and whistles. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll keep a piece of that. We'll be proud. We'll, we'll get a piece of that cart. If there's not a single piece left when we get back, we will hunt those goblins down and get it. <laughs> I really need to get more like considering we have no other properties though because I don't really have many skills to help martial you guys. arts three dude I'm about to advance two skills like really <laughs> quite, really soon like, I have yet to use any you skill except for ride I use like uh, oh and I read, you I read helped. yeah you helped a couple times too didn't you didn't you help I, I read um, hunting stealthy. I haven't used Garrett yet. I've used mending. I haven't used climbing. 
Shane, would you say that I did a routine check with Wolf Rise and Great Wolf Husbandry to ask my wolf if he would let me ride him? Well, that's up to Hayes. If he if he made you test for it or not, that's up no, to him. No, he didn't make me test for it. You could do like a retrospective and be like and ask him if you can just roll the dice on that. Right. Now, if you fail, he can hit you with something later, though, so be careful. Yeah. How does uh, marching work? What is 10 minus the base stat? What, do you know what marching is? I got the book. Never mind. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 10 minus base. Marching, I bet, I bet it's will and fort. It's will and fort, so that... I you, bet. I, I don't know what it is. I bet. That means you take the average and divide by 2? Yeah, I bet it is. It might not. It might just be will. Let me see. I'll help you look it up. I I don't see it under skills. Ooh, marching? Yeah. Maybe you want to do like maybe soldiering is what you wanted. Hey, hey, no it was we can make up a skill. I mean, if it you can ask Hayes if you can make up marching. And, um. I could have sworn that was a skill, from the, from the beginning. Was Did you pass yourself? It, and it might be a skill, too, but it's just not listed in the skills. Like, maybe it's an error. That's possible. Uh, you still get a test. You still get a test. Oh, wait, no, I, I mean, see it. It was, it was, like, what, top two? It is soldiering. Uh, soldiering? So, and I got a four. So, it was a routine? Do you round up or down? Or is it I mean, not chain. It wasn't I think it was a challenge. Down. Oh, it's down. So just, just put I have to do seven tests of marching. But the wolf nice. just caught me. So six. I have to do six more tests of marching, guys, to learn it. Damn, that's ridiculous. Um, Hayes, another, since you're the GM, you know, you're going to have me begging at you all the time for stuff. Okay. Can I still roll my dice against Sig to see... If I convinced him or not on an unskilled persuasion test, on an unskilled Why? persuasion, <laughs> on this wolf? you can do that. You can do an unskilled persuasion. He has persuasion though. Okay, so it's gonna be double obstacle penalty. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna roll my will of B five, the, the guy that won't and work. just see what I get as my result. Basically, I want to mark a test for that argument I had with him. All right. Did I get a routine check for writing and reading? Um, not yet, because you haven't taught them yet. Did I get a... We're going to do that, the writing and reading. That's going to be at the end of the session, because there's actual time. It takes writing. Certain, oh, writing, writing. Yeah. Um, you've got mounted combat writing. I'll let that roll as writing. I did That'll not. That'll be a regular writing. I would say if you can ride a combat mount, you ought to be able to just ride a regular horse, or just ride regularly. Without having to make tests? W without having to make a test. All right. I don't need. I don't need to keep track of it. No, no. Um, do you think? Do you think he should change? I, I tell you what, man. If your GM is going to let you go with uh, mounted combat training to ride, and you never have to test ride, don't worry about it. That, However, Hayes, man, to like think of it in real terms, if you are a mounted combat rider, you're probably a very accomplished just rider of. Yeah. And now, now just to dovetail on that, just to teach a little bit about the game, let's say there's a riding competition or you're in a joust or something. Maybe, Hayes, would you... Just a hypothetical, all right? Oh, my God, a good time for that to happen. <laughs> and now I pass the torch. <laughs> now I pass the torch. You almost won the fucking deep point then for that one. And now... All right, go ahead and say it again. You it's, you well, it it's your game. You define the parameters. Would you make him test in a competition? If so, I would let him do his writing. But if he fails it, if he rolls and fails writing, hit him with something later. Hit him with something later. You see what I'm saying? This is just like GM advice, me and Hayes yeah. talking this out. Yeah, I guess go ahead. I guess go ahead. We'll do... Shit, yeah, just do a routine. <coughs> do a routine for writing. No forks. Can't fork in combat well, well, riding? Well, combat riding, it's unskilled. Riding is unskilled, so you can't fork. You can't fork unskilled. Riding. So riding, what was it? It's your... Uh, will. I think it's Will, and uh, I'll look it up real quick. I got it. I got a two in riding. Okay. 
So we'll say that you earn what? Yeah, we'll just do a routine because challenging, difficult doesn't matter on anything that you're learning. You just gotta test it. I have a uh, writing as a skill. You have writing as a skill? I have write as a skill. Oh, write. Oh, okay. Well, but here, well, at least it would at least be an ob one. I, I got two so, successes. That, that doubles, so that would double. Yeah, so that would be a two, so that would be a challenging test. Dang so it. you completed a challenging test. Yeah. No, no, no. It's not like there's anything important. The whole, he's just standing there. He lets yeah. you go on. He's not like a, something that's got to be tamed. <laughs> oh, yeah. The, well, the there, hard to be a plus one. I forgot just, about that. Just to, clar just to clarify in the rules, he's testing unskilled, right? <laughs> no, he no. has writing as a skill. Oh, he, he has, has writing. writing. Okay. Writing. Okay, so then that's... Okay, fine. Then you... That was the perfect rules call. Okay. And I want to test my uh, unskilled persuasion. Okay. And I got two successes. You got two successes? Yeah. How many successes did Sig get? Or are you going to make me test against his raw will? I will make you test against his raw will, which is a three. All right. So I failed that result. You can hold that against me later. He's going to kill you. In the face. Okay, so we are at the point where Zig has joined the party. Brett is on the wolf. Brent is giggling I'm in the bushes. He's still kind of just giggling at how you know this everything just this, down. this human just you know kind of made the dwarf look like a fool. Yeah. Uh, Wow. With his pants on ground. With his pants on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, where's your pants? Oh, they're right. They're on the ground. Oh, <laughs> so I'll say. Uh, my cheeks are red right about now. <laughs> Little rosy. So that probably happened to all of us, to tell you the truth. Observation roll. I see it. What? No. <laughs> Check to see how embarrassed the dwarf is. <laughs> Like Brent, Brent's character walks up to the dwarf and he's like, "Sure showed you, huh?" I get to no, it's 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 okay, up. buddy. I missed, I missed everything I called out earlier. Like everything. Well, look, the dwarves have friends, and I will, I assure you, I'll prove to you in the future that I do have friends. I don't doubt you. We have the same beliefs. It sounds like. Oh, I'll let you friend. Be my friend. Be my friend. Say it. Please? Prove yourself. And I'll be. Let's do this. Also, we're gonna challenge go. accepted. And I point towards the cave. Let's go in. All I gotta do is go in. Okay. Oh, oh we got treasure to get. We got treasure to get. Oh, I gotta get treasure oh. first. All right. I wanna know if there's any kind of tumbling. Or <laughs> Not any kind it's just of flavor. Bags. It's just flavor. Yeah. I'm just adding. If you want to tumble or something like that. If you're like, I'm a black backflip out of the way, black flip. <laughs> yeah, Jamie. You're black. Yeah, Jamie. Uh, if, you're, if you're like, if you're like, if you're like, I'm gonna backflip out of there. I would make you roll your agility. It'd be like if you're in combat and you're like, I'm gonna flip the fuck out. Or of here. yeah, or James, you could fork martial arts into something else. Like I'm backflipping while I do this. Yeah, but you couldn't fork martial yeah, arts a, into agility. Yeah, you can't agility. do that into agility, though. No, you can't fork it into agility, but let's say you had, like, knives or something like that, and you want to do a backflip. You could say, yeah, if you were doing knives versus knives, like, or if he had a sword and you had a knife, <laughs> you would have a three, and you could fork martial arts into your knives, which would make it a four. And if you win the exchange, you could be like, I backflip out of the way and then lunge forward and stab him in the chest. Yeah, it's just flavor text. Yeah, it's all about just personal describing. Yeah, but you can still you can still fork it a little bit. Like if you're yeah. describing, you can still fork it out. Yeah, you can use your descriptions. It's the same as how you were like, all right, well, I'm gonna describe how I can use mending and making the trap. Same way, I'm gonna describe how I can put martial arts into this. Try with all your skills, and in one or two sentences, just try it. Yep, be like, I'm going to do all, all these is. skills. And then, then, then I'm going to do this. So. All right. Well, I can read and write, so I'll write, fight on my finger, then I'll punch him in the head. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> so, you guys decide that you're just going to go into the cave. So you, I want to be all stealthy. You want to be stealthy? Yeah. Okay. 
So what do I what do I smell, taste, hear, <coughs> see as I'm heading into the cave? You smell. I'll go ahead and throw. What does the entrance look like? In my hands. The entrance to the cave the is just <laughs> overgrown. I mean, it's. This a rocky is right, cave. This is right outside the boundaries of my territory. I've only yeah. been in the entrance. And you've never been in this yet. cave. I've like never you been. have never been in this cave per se. But these skills are not gonna help me. Oh, now, I would say you walk in and you can smell something kind of rotten a little bit. Like you smell something that just isn't quite right. Not like something that's been dead. Uh, well, actually, roll your perception. Are we all doing it? No. Just Shane. Shane can do it if he wants to. Shane, I'm listening to you. Okay, well, what's he rolling on? We'll do graduated test. We'll do a graduated test. No obstacle. Shane, just roll your perception. What did I get early for? Oh, all right. No successes. You can't smell anything. You walk in there, the only thing that you can tell is that it's a cave and that nothing has really been in or out. You can't see any footpaths from animals. And then again, you can't. You wouldn't even be able to tell if there were. So, so you kind of just walk into the cave and it's just kind of lost. You just don't know. You don't know what's going right. so so on. Only brought us to the cave. Only to the cave. The message leads to, the, the, leads to the entrance of the cave. It has no diagrams of the inside of the cave. It's just the cave itself. All right. So since we have a man in our party who can't see in the dark, I'm going to strike a strike a uh, torch, another torch out of my traveling gear, and I'm going to just pass it to him <coughs> to use at his discretion. To who? Which one? Brad? To Brad, yeah. He's the only person who can't see in the dark in our party. Yeah. yeah. As you are walking, you see Zig just kind of uh, look around, look around the cave. Your, your enemy is your friend. Zig sees a puddle, the puddle of some <coughs> black liquid. He takes the torch, dunks the torch into it to extinguish it, tosses the torch back to the dwarf, mm. walks headlong into the cave. All right. Like he can see, like he can somehow see in the dark, no problem. Okay. He's also human? He's human. So, all right. Maybe he has a maybe he has a trait or something that he like a I can see him, though. Maybe seal. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> or or he could have some magical item that allows him to see in the dark. You know not. That's what I'm saying. I can see in the dark, right? Yeah, hey, you can see in the dark. All the while. Refresh my memory if you will, sir. It's after good. Nice. This guy seems so angry. I'll look it up. I'll look it up, Hayes. I got it. I'm here. He's call the wild. All right. Uh, it's a hunting skill. That's all it is. So I can't call animals to my aid. Nope. Okay. It's hunting. You can only fork songs of path and ways into it. I was about to say song of path and ways would like give me an. Un it's hearing. The best you could do. Uh, well, actually. I'm not going to tell you. It's, it's metagaming. Don't do that. I'm not going to tell you. I will say if you want to test your paths of song and ways, you can. I would love If you to, would like to it test it, you can. Read it to me out of the book before I do that. Okay. Real quick. So I can be 100% sure this isn't going to be useless 100%. I got something else I would like to try to. The only thing in the song right now would be by, uh... I got you. I got you, guys. Okay. So, Song of Paths and Ways. Sorry. This skill song is the elven version of orienteering. You can, f you may fork weather song or rhyme of rules into Song of Paths and Ways. All right, but orienteering won't give me a path of the blind eye, is what I'm saying. Like I'm looking for the path. I want to find the path. That's the only reason I pick path and ways. I am. This is me giving my my advice. Yeah. I would say orienteering is not only 
like an outdoor skills, I would say orienteering encompasses all sorts of exploring. I would almost say yeah, yeah, yeah. You would know to check for drafts. You would know to check for sure. moisture. That, that, okay, that, that's, you would, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I want to be able to check and see which way is going to be near, I guess, this treasure's at the end of this cave. If there's anything out of the ordinary is, <laughs> is what orienteering would probably tell you. Well, while Brent's looking around, I want to talk to Barter. Far door, and I wanted to ask him, does he know anything about this tunnel? Anything at all? Do you know how big it is? How much we have to search? Right, he took his headset off, so go ahead and. Say no, I'm listening. I, I can hear you guys. Well, did, did you hear him when he said he wanted to talk to you? Oh no, I didn't hear that. <laughs> so, uh, uh, okay, what's up? I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn to you after you hand me the torch. I'm gonna get off uh, Zavai. I'm gonna uh, pet him, and yeah. while I'm petting him, I want to ask you, do you know anything about this tunnel? Have you have any information? Do you know how big it is? How long it's going to take us to search? Where to search? Like, well, to navigate through this tunnel. Let me tell. Let me tell you what I know about this tunnel. Okay, I want to tell you what I know. What I know is that the treasure was stolen from my ancestors a long time ago. Mm -hmm. They know it was brought here, but they have never been inside. Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and say this is a pretty foul smell. By the way, um, what I would like to do is... Um, is James what's, getting what's a boner the over there? <laughs> the smell? Is James it's getting a boner? Just, it's because of corpses? Uh, James corpses. starts salivating. James what? starts to salivate a little bit. I thought you said it wasn't... Uh, See, it doesn't right. smell quite like something is dead, but it smells pretty bad. And you like that. And orcs like rotten smelling things. Oh, okay. Well, bad. But, <laughs> uh, no, I just thought you said there was nothing dead, so... Yeah. But, yeah. um... <laughs> I want to keep an eye on dude, not to because he's suspicious, but to see stuff that he might see. So you just want to keep an eye on Zig? Yeah, so I can pay attention to, like, if he looks <laughs> a certain way, I will look that way too. Okay. So basically, what you're saying is you want to... You seem to have a better perception than... You I want to follow, you want to follow Zig, is what you're saying. Don't you follow to... that bastard. I'm saying, well, we don't have to follow Zig, because Zig doesn't know where he's going either. Oh. Zig is just like, you know, I, I need all these handouts. Did I roll? Yeah, I came in here and you guys were. Basically, I'll role play Zig. I'll role play Zig real quick. If the dwarf has a problem with Zig, he can go ahead and say it and I'll role play it out with you. Alright. Did I roll my uh, pathways? Not yet. Go ahead and roll your pathways. And. Four. Do I get anything else with it? Like, I could maybe see footsteps that have maybe happened earlier. My tracking would give me the the dew points north, east, south, and west. I will say... Kinda. I will say... You are using your song of Path and Ways. Yes, sir. I will say you will get a plus one D because you have night vision. So, Kingside. so okay, yeah. you've got the Kingside. night vision, so... You get a plus one for that. However, I'll also say you need a plus one ob yes, sir. because it's a cave. You're not naturally... A cave setting is not your natural setting, but some you. of the rules still apply. Look for water, stuff like that. So okay. well, you're, at plus of, one, you're at a plus one ob and a plus one d. All right, well, instead of tracking, I'm going to sing and try to get it acoustically where I can understand exactly what I'm saying. Through this song. Well, you can't fork sing into songs of Path and Ways. The only thing that no. you can fork, yeah, yeah. you can't. The only thing that you can <laughs> fork into it was, yeah. Yeah, there was a couple of different, like different. Yeah, yeah you just get an advantage, disadvantage, or another song. Yeah. All right. So as important to or wise, not cancel out. You don't want to cancel out. Like if I say you got a plus one ob and a plus one d, you don't want to cancel it out because if you cancel it out, you could roll a six. There's a higher chance, percentage-wise, that you could roll a six, and then you could open it if you wanted to. Yeah. So even though they cancel out, it's still important to roll the die. All right, so what's the uh, what's the obstacle for the path? Okay. The six. obstacle all my hand six. is going to be a three plus mm -hmm. one ob, so it's, it's going to be a four. And I got four dice to roll. You have five dice to roll. Because you have four in Songs of Path and Ways, and you got a plus one D for your night vision. All right. Good. Single one. Fail. Mm. Three successes Three success. and a six. And a six. You get to re-roll. I could re-roll this. Yeah. Songs? No. Songs no, are open-ended. Elven songs are open-ended. 
Come on, five. Six. Do it again. Go six. Going. Go again. Six. <laughs> Three. Okay. So, got, so you got uh, five total. And the, the, right. the cool thing about that and opening the dies and exploding is every time you reel it doesn't count against Jesus. your your challenging. So you actually got a difficult test where your song was path and waste. So go ahead and write that down. And as you're singing. You can hear the acoustics kind of in a, in a magical way. You can almost feel like the song is an extension of yourself, and you just kind of fill the cave. You know, and you see that there are multiple pathways, and you can feel where one's a dead end, and it's got cold air. You can feel where another one is a dead end. But uh, off to the right a little bit, it's actually almost like just a little crevice in the wall that you really wouldn't be able to notice unless you knew where it was. You can feel a warm draft coming from there. All right. So, uh, what are you what are you seeing, Brent? Or, uh, well, did you Sam? want to role play? Did you want to role play, uh, role play Zig? Yeah, I was gonna no. say, where is Zig right now? That was my one like, question. Like, compared to me Zig, right now and everybody else, where is Zig? Zig is standing in the middle of the cave. Like he just doesn't have a care in the world. He's just kind of standing in the cave, just looking around, just checking out the surroundings. Hands are in his pocket. He's not. Doesn't look like he's worried about anything. All right. Well, the the dwarf, uh, Bardor can see me and uh, I forget your name. Titus. Titus. Yes. You can see me and him, and the orc can see all of us. I'm gonna go ahead and start pointing towards this door. I'm, let you... <laughs> I'm doing it stealthily. I'm, I'm letting you guys know. This calls up you, dwarf. As soon as we get in the door, I'm gonna whisper in your ear. Hey, we're gonna leave him. Here? We're gonna go with this. You tell me. This guy's yours. I'm boris. I'm 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 boisterous and, and loud. There's no way he will uh, not notice us going this way. You don't have to say anything. You have one word to say, or you can be quiet. Is what I'm telling you. We can leave him here. We can go ahead. It, I, just, I mean, you you can leave him there, but I don't understand. He's got night vision. I understand that. But he, up the door. He's 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 not standing stationary. He's like doing this. He's like. Looking around, and so he sees you guys. It's right. not like he's to the point where he can't see you. The only thing that you could do is if you would possibly, and I may probably you guys do a speed test. Okay, you, I, you forgot, have, I forgot he had the fucking the sight. Yeah, he, he can I see. I was thinking of something. So he he is just, he's just chop. rolling around looking. I, I was thinking of something. You know, you know what I want to do? You know what I want to do? Yeah, still alive. Like, still I've, got, I've got an idea here, all right? Okay. I'm going to start... Now, let me just explain all this, okay? I have got some metal pegs with me that I brought in my gear, okay? Just like iron spikes. And as we're heading into the cave, I am hammering the spikes into the walls, all right? And I'm stringing rope through little loops in the, in the spikes so that we can find our way back. And also, if there's a collapse or something, we can pull our way out. All right, or if there's a flood or, or anything, all right, a strong wind, whatever. Now, as I'm doing that, Zig, I'm going to call you over to me and say, can you help me with this? Uh, Zig just kind of looks at you and just kind of looks at you and cocks his head. <coughs> just like I'm doing, just kind of. He doesn't say a word, he just kind of nods. And he walks over and he proceeds to help you. All right. <coughs> Before we leave, I'm going to take like a small piece of cloth, and since I'm in all this heavy armor, I've obviously been sweating. I'm going to wipe my head with it, get it nice and damp. I'm going to take it to Zvi, and I'm going to like, get a good whiff in case we get lost, and I'm going to put it down under a rock at near the entrance. Nice. Would you really wear those shoes? What's the point? I'm also, after I do that, I'm going to take the harness off of them. You probably wear those yeah, shoes. No, those. Yes, you would. Yeah. Hey, it's buy a pair of those spring spring blades. Done. Got it. Sold. All the bitches love she was shoes. She was a mouth of gaping over there. <laughs> breathing all that air. Mouth breathing. Yeah. <laughs> Knuckle dragger. <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> 
Now, now Zig. Wow. He's, he's like close to me now, and I want to have a conversation with him. Okay. I want to say, Zig, what is this chip on your shoulder that you wear? I know I, under, I underestimated you, but what is this chip that you wear on your shoulder? Uh, well, good dwarf, I wear no chip on my shoulder. Uh, I apologize if I seemed crass when we first met. But uh, I am not used to handouts. And it is almost an insult for someone to think that I need something, that I can't take care of myself. Then why do you work for my cousins? I do what pleases me. I find that I can learn skills from the dwarfs. We can all benefit from each other. But I only do things that benefit me in particular. Okay, I'm going to walk away at this point. And no, you can't hear this. It's just me and the dwarf. I thought I was right beside the dwarf. Well, well, let's say you know, like, me and Brent are party members, all right? He knows I'm having a private conversation. Right. I say, I thought I walked up to him. I had a conversation for you at that door. I didn't want it to go. Right. Ask him well, Brent do, you, Brent, do you want to hear this conversation? We're already in the cave, though. But, but my thing was I wanted to stick right beside the dwarf after I showed him the pathway in. Okay. That, that was why I was saying I wanted to. Have, like, I was even touching you on the shoulder as you walked in to tell if, you that it was a If you are going to try to listen to this, yeah, but test a perception. Well, because we're having this conversation as he is hammering these metal spikes yeah. into the wall. But let let was, hang on a second, Brent. What do you what do you want? Like, explain to me what you want. What do you so want I can help out here. Exchange is the question. It's just friendship for me. Okay. I want to be with you. Shane. So you want to protect me in case Zig does something? Is that something what you want? I'm okay. Yes. Awesome. So, to be Batman and the Rapper. Oh, drop down. So I like wink to you, like I'm going to talk loud enough for you to hear me. Okay. okay. So you're included in this conversation now, and so is everyone else. Okay. All right. Okay. We're having a public conversation. Okay. Is that cool? Does that serve your purpose, Brent? There. Yeah. Okay. I'm leaning against the wall. Good. Mm -hmm. I might need your backup if something happens, by the way. I'm looking straight up at the ceiling. Just <laughs> All right. You see how fun these circles, these failed circles rolls are? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, so Zig works for himself for whatever benefit. What benefit do you want, Zig, out of life? I have yet to see anything that intrigues me on this trip. Okay. Whenever I do notice something... I will be sure to make my intent clear. Don't you worry. All right. Please do, because I would be willing to give you a cut of the prize. Only so much, but I would be willing to give you a little bit. Can I come behind him and roll falsehood with him? For your help. Do you want to roll falsehood? With him. I can test it. Uh, what you would have to do is you would have to bluff check. You would bluff have to check. do an unskilled bluff check yeah. against his falsehood. I would do it. You want to do it? Okay. I'll do it right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say I disappeared for half a second and then somehow I came around the corner magically through the wall. Not really, but I'm saying. I know what you're saying. I mean, you can hear. It's it's loud enough to where everybody can hear, and his you can hear. His you can hear. Wasn't on me. He's not whispering. He's That's talking saying. loud enough so his everybody can hear. So I came up behind him and I'm gonna tap him on the shoulder once again. I'm a little crazy. I, I like to tap people on the shoulder. It's my thing. <laughs> hey, I'm over here. No, I'm over here. <laughs> that, that's my thing. Even when it doesn't make any sense, like I'll do that at a party. If we ever go to a party, I'm like, dude, let's, let's tap you on the other shoulder. Hey, you tap up? him and he looks dead at you in the eyes. His fucking eyes like a shark, just black, like just all no pupils, nothing. His eyes are black. He just winks at you. That's it. That's all he does. Mm. The only thing I do is unforced. What's Wink bluff check? Uh, yeah, let's say what. Uh, uh, so you can roll your perception against someone's falsehood if they are lying. Now here's the thing. Here's the thing. As a GM, if you were trying to, if you were to come to me and I was running an NPC and you were like, I want to tell if he's lying, I'd be like, all right, roll your perception, op three. Okay. Okay. Doesn't matter if he's lying or not. Yeah. Okay, go ahead, blow your perception. Left, pretty much. Oh, come on, six successes. 
That's not six at all. Oh my god, I lost no success. Jesus. He looked at me dark eyed. <laughs> what he does Did I get a check? As <laughs> as he sees you, he leans in. Jesus. How many did you roll? I rolled six. I have six. You rolled six perception. Six perception. Right? Yeah. I mean his uh falsehood's only a two. Oh wow. Well, he leans oh, in. He leans in and he uh, just leans in just to where you can hear. And he whispers, I know you're game elf. And that's it. And then he just leans back. Puts his hands back in his pocket. Just kind of sits there. Shoots you one more wink. So anyway, what I was saying is that... Because he I leans in with the eye that you think he's going to wink with it. I'm a little crazy. <laughs> Don't trust the traitor. I scream that. We're going to start an epic right now. What I, what I was saying, Zig, is is I would be willing to part with a bit of treasure from here, but I want to settle it right now. I, I don't want to get the treasure and then you decide what you want to take. Like, let's make a bargain right now for how much you want. If you are willing to accept treasure. I wouldn't trust them. What if I'm not willing to accept treasure? What would you offer me? His virginity. <laughs> He'll do it. I'm going to signal to everybody in the room. You don't know that. Let me look at my beliefs for a second, if you don't mind. I don't trust him, Jane. My character knows that already. Crazy That's people don't trust, don't trust other crazy people. There you go. Only crazy. he can be crazy. Something's I'm confused. Him. I'm scared of him. He just said something crazy to me, and I'm crazy, and I don't understand it. I'm scared of him. All right. You know what? That's, that's not metagaming. That's like what I would have said to your character. I mean, that's our favorite word. Brief, weird, wink, wink. I'm gonna. I gotta throw the ball back in his court and just say, what would you want out of this if you don't want treasure? Because I don't have any beliefs to guide me on this. Then without hesitation, he says, then why are you here? What is your end goal? What is your what? end goal? Madness. What I want out of this is is treasure. I know there's treasure in this cave, and I want to build a workshop. He's a greedy little boy. <laughs> what will you do at this workshop? I want to sell my wares and become known throughout the land. How about this? How about instead of gold, you give me an oath that you will outfit me when we get back and your shop is built? In your finest armor, spare no expense. All you hear from me is. <laughs> you fool. You would ask for such a favor. A lot I would. Panini. Panini, come here, girl. It depends on what's down here. Come here, girl. You know what All right. I'm so we're, we're at an impasse here. I don't want to do that. I want to convince him. To uh, to accept treasure. You want to convince him to accept treasure? I want to convince him to accept treasure in exchange for his services. Because it would be incredibly hard, or money. It would be a lot of money in order to outfit him. <coughs> Does, can anybody else chime in with me on this conversation? Uh, Basically, what has happened with Zig? Uh, the girl <coughs> is trying to give Zig treasure. Zig does not want treasure. What Zig wants is once the dwarf built his shop, is to be outfitted in his finest gear. He wants. And all I did was whistle. Actually, you know what? All right. I, I hate yes, to like yes. change my reaction, but if I give him the finest gear, I want him to shout like. To, if anyone ever asks him whose gear it is, to say who he got it from. Can we make those the stakes of this yeah, convince? I'll say you, yes on my falsehood. If you throw in armaments as well, 
I will agree. Okay. I do have blacksmithing. Um, I'm going to have a label all over that stuff. On the blade, on his chest, on his leggings. Like, I will start a brand, and I want him to showcase my brand. You still know that. I told you he's crazy, armor. right? Well, those armor. Zig, Zig <laughs> accepts those conditions. Zig accepts the conditions. I don't need to test. Correct. Okay. Zig, Zig will be a model for your uh, armor and weapons. Use All right. Your... And I promise him, I swear an oath that I will do that. Believe as he requested. A special belief. So right. I will replace my third belief with an oath. Can he even All wear right. armor? Like, could he even, like, carry it? Oh, yeah, he can wear armor. And my oath says... No, I mean, James, if you, like, looked at him and you were like... He could fine-tune the armor. I mean, he's not building the armor for a dwarf. It would be dwarven-crafted armor built for a human. Or whatever he is. What do you want from me? Okay. I feel like hitting your titty with some gum. Oh, man, titty gum. All right. All right, I will outfit Zig in my finest gear. Clothes. Basic if clothes. Yes, yeah, the clothes shop. This is a mint accessories for clothes. It's his best gear. Considering I build my workshop. This is a well, haberdashery. Okay. Men's on the world. Is that what's what it's called? Stuff? Haberdashery? Haberdash? Haberdasher. I yeah. shall assist. Yeah, that's all. That's all Haberdashery, yeah. Yeah. I sell men's accessories such as buckles, <laughs> belts. <laughs> buckles, whistles, bells. Now, I want to know if I really convinced him on this, man. You okay. convinced him. What did I All get? Right. Perception check? He, is, okay. he is not lying. You can't tell that he's lying. What did I get? Are you talking about your perception check when you did the tunnel on the way? You found the tunnel on the side. Remember, you crushed that shit. Yeah. Yeah. I'll go one against him, and he, and he lied to me, and then. Oh, he didn't lie to you. I mean, he. He's so soft. Did I get a check for that? He says, I know your game. All right. Did you get a routine test because you rolled six die on a two off? Yeah. All right. And sure. as I, I'm hammering in these pieces, okay, and I'm walking down the path, and I stop, and I look at him, I swear an oath, and I kneel, mm -hmm. and I swear an oath that I will outfit him with fine gear if that is what he truly wants. Successful okay? skill. And I move on, and I am the first one to go into that crack. Before, before you move on, All right. as you are kneeling, perception. Zig reaches down into There's his no boot routine. and so produces a knife. Yeah. To do okay. Work. And he takes the knife and lays his palm yeah, open and slides the knife across his palm and cuts himself. All right. Then he holds the knife by the blade and holds it out to you. I know what's going on. I swear an oath with my breath, not with blood. Sussy. Not with blood. You, you work among dwarves. You know... My, my breath, my breath is more of an oath than my blood. The words are the sword. on a I got it. Then got he it. says, "I see," and puts the dagger back in his boot. Hand him some rags. Nope. Just puts his hand back in his pocket. Then I get infected. Fine, fine, <laughs> fine. And I pull out my hammer. My mallet. Break all his fingers. And I signal to these three guys, I signal to these three guys to draw their weapons. And I'm like, look. They can do it if they want. They don't have to do it. I don't care. Mm -hmm. I swore you an oath on my breath. If you can't take that, I don't care. I'm going into this crack right now. I'm still behind Zig it, right? looks at you and says, I honor your customs. I honor your oaths. Why must you alienate me so? I've done nothing but try to swear an oath to you in the way that men do. And you turn me down? All I can say is okay and move on. That's kind of crazy. Legit crazy. All right. I'm still behind this guy, right? Technically. 
Technically. You know my werewolf's, uh, I mean my, my dire wolf's, uh, I'm going to end this with a choke check. Is dominant. He walks up to six P zone. He's not paying attention to me right now. You okay. Have hey. to kill your dog yeah. I want to roll my reputation wise <laughs> to know what kind of reputation Zig has throughout the land. <laughs> is he going to stab me in the back or not? Okay. Okay. What what would I roll against? You can set an ob for me if you want. Or you can do a graduated test and get the details. <laughs> About it, whether and I want to know whether or not he will stab me in the back. That's what I want to know. If I walk away from this, will he stab me in the back? I'll uh, fork over some falsehood. Nope. Can't help on that. Yeah, you can't help on that. Uh, I tried. You know what? I just do it every time I think I might be able to. I do a little bit. Make a will. Make a will. I'm born tonight. Four babies everywhere. What are you rolling? How many? Two, just two dice, man. I just want to use my wise to tap like reputations, what I know about okay. people oh, with reputations. Okay. I don't know about All right, I got no successes. You can't tell. Nice. <laughs> and I reach out to shake his hand. He's a human, though, right? Yeah, he's a human. All right, right. just for the sake of he's it, I want to. Game doing the same thing. Since I want to, I want to use my affiliations with knowing all the humans, and I wanted to use champion wise. Look at this. Any of my knowledge has heard anything about Zig in the human district. Anyone? Anyone? Who the fuck is Zig? Who the hell is Zig? Have I ever heard of a of a really wiry man who does not fit the description of a great archer? Okay. Who's a bit crazy, it seems. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead and roll. <laughs> Who the fuck is Robinson? I'll give you an odd three. <clears throat> no, well, 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 I won't do odd three. I, well, I'll do an odd three, but what I'll do, I'll give you an advantage die because he's from the same city that you're from. Only got two. Only got two? Yeah, can't tell. <laughs> Wait, do I Nobody's can't... ever heard of Zig. Do you Nobody can't... knows do I about Zig. one for... One day, one D human district. Yeah, yeah. I gave you the, uh, I gave you uh, uh, an extra die. Okay. So, uh, right. That was for your affiliation. All right. So, okay. So that was that challenging or a routine? Uh, All right. It was, so so was, it was a two on three, right? Yeah. So I reach out and I shake Zig's hand on it. <coughs> I did like, three. It was an odd three, right? Didn't I say odd three? Because yeah, I said odd three then two. You said three. And he okay. Got two well. Successes. It's a challenging test. You got a challenging test on that. Yep. All right. So you still get it. You still get it. Yeah. Ah, okay. That's what I was saying. I shake. I reach out since that's what Zig wants, and I failed my result. I'm gonna reach out and shake his hand. Zig real calmly and coolly pulls his hand out of his pocket and just ex extends his hand, and that's it. He doesn't grab your hand. He just extends his hand. He's just waiting. All right, I want to grab his hand and shake it. I'm right. going to move in closer. Yeah, I, I, I He saw shakes it. your hand, pulls his hand back, and puts it back in his pocket. Did, he, did Shane cut his hand? No. Sure okay, didn't. okay, never mind. I still want to go Zig, right? Zig understands yeah. that it is not a dwarf custom. Okay. That was the whole, I understand your customs and I honor your customs. I still want to. So him Zig understands. All right. Slips his hand back in his pocket. I'm just staring. Oh, there was black. Let me show you. So yeah, I can still try it. this. All right. <laughs> Look, I've spent enough time focusing on this Zig guy. Let's get in and get the treasure, and we'll handle any problems later. Strength and honor. They're all on the run. I mean, so where do you guys go from here? You're at the Is that what you're screaming over there? I'm the first one in. I am the first one oh. into that crevice. I'm small. I might be fat, but I'm Where's diving in. Behind you when you entered it, remember? So she did. Hammering along the way as I go. You guys can go in front of me if you want to, but I'm rushing in there. Okay. Get a challenge for it. Well, as you guys are going, everybody just starts starts going. The orc kinda <laughs> goes on in. Brad's got the torch. Brad's character goes yeah, in. My Titus boat, goes in. My air broke. Samuel goes in. L. Jackson. Zig just casually strolls like he's walking through the park. He just I'm, walks in there, hands in his pocket. I was the last one. First one in, last one to leave. Marie Motto. That's just how I'm going to play this character, though. 
Okay. What's your will? My will is a four. Will's a four. Roll. Roll will. We'll roll each other's will. Everybody? Zig is just going to stand there and wait for you to go. He's just, no, just name him. Just name him. Yeah. He's just going to stand there with his hands in his pocket. I want to be the last one He's just going to stare. He's going to stare you. at you. I got you. I, I, I want to be the last one. It's it's just an observation. Hey, I hear you, man. Stealthy I picked up with. That's just that's a skill. You can't fork in anything. Yeah, I got you. There's nothing but your stats. All right, here we go. All right, go ahead. Three sixes and a three. You got three sixes. I, I got two. That shit. So... Zig just stands there for a second and just looks at you. You stand there and stare back at him. Sit there for probably five, ten seconds. Then Sam just nods. He keeps his eyes locked on Zig and just nods his head to the cave. And Zig just walks in. He just looks at the elf and kind of nods real slowly, like in recognition. And walks He's like, in. you know. Just strolls on in. Right. He's like, all right. Do I get a check on that one? Um, skill? that was an op two that you had to beat. With a will. Your what was your will? Four. You uh, four. Routines on count. Four two. That was a routine. Yeah, it doesn't count. It's gotta be challenging or difficult. Yeah. All right. Unless I'm in the perception. Okay, so. We're all running, except for Zig, who's strolling, and Sam behind Zig, because Sam doesn't trust him. Nobody. So. Follow the tunnel. Follow the tunnel for probably <coughs> what seems like hours. You can't tell. It's dark. There's no indication of the time outside, how much time has passed, but it seems like you've gone a fairly long way into the cave. And you'll notice that uh, the smell is getting a little bit stronger. It smells almost divine. Guys, some smells yummy. And it's what? just getting warmer, warmer, and warmer as you're going in there. It, smell, it smells like something so, a little dead, right? Finally... Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> but finally, you guys make it into the antechamber. You make it into this room that is just this giant circular room. And in the room is treasure. As far as you can see, wall to wall, floor to ceiling, treasure. Observation. I want to check it. You want to check I it? I want to see how far it is. Oh, don't touch it. Though. I'm just kidding. Hang on. I want to. I want to hear a little bit more from Harry. What yeah, else? What else? What else do we see on site? I apologize. Who wants to know the worst? Who 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 wants to know the most? What they see? Would it be the dwarf with your greed? No. So are you telling me that my eyes open? How vast is? As it? I see all the treasure. Yeah. How vast is my question? I would say <coughs> that. Uh, can my die, can my, can my do not see the end of the gold sea? It's about the size of a football field. Oh, God, I want to use the room. The room is huge. I want to use that. It's a gigantic room. I'm gonna I want to pinpoint the artifacts that we're looking for. Now. There you go. The thing That's is, a good intent. we got to decide who is rolling. we got to decide what you're looking for. Observation is we're looking for We're looking for two different things now. We're looking for... The talisman, talisman for James. Yes. But we're looking for Bardour's family treasure. So you have to decide Obviously who is I'm more going important. For the talisman. Okay. I am looking for signs. Any signs that say something. All right. I'm going to look for the talisman. I am going to look for talismans, but I know for a fact of something that has to be. Protecting it, no matter what. Well, what, what I'm going to do, because James has been just sitting here not doing anything. Me? I, I'm going to do the, while someone is doing this, meanwhile someone else is, is doing another test. So, I am going to have Shane test his perception to see if he can notice his relic, his particular goal. I'm going to have James... Well, his perception 
and see if he can notice or find his orc talisman. I'm going to stand back. Okay. All right. Perception. Now I get to choose. Now. My character watches both of this. <coughs> that will be perception. What's your perception, James? Probably right. three. Three. And also, I think I would... You know, I think you were going to give me a bonus because I could remember what it looked like. I'm going to give you mm-hmm. a bonus die. Now, this is going to be... For James, at least, this is going to be like an ob four, maybe an ob five. The reason being, there's a ton of treasure. He's looking for a box, a small box. Now, I'll just say it's an ob five. Now, you've got three. You get one D because you know what it looks like. Mm -hmm. I'll give you another D. Because you are orc, and there's going to be such a powerful talisman that you could feel at least feel an aura. And I will give you well, I can't use any another D because you got night vision. Four for yourself. Nobody got it. This is the this is the big deal. Yeah. There is no, 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 no now. Hold on. There's no. Don't roll it. Oh yeah, yeah. Don't roll it. You and Shane are gonna roll it the exact same time. Now, Shane. <coughs> no for it. You. I'm gonna, gonna roll to see if right? you can find your treasure, which will be a considerable pile. But again, you so have to remember that. that this room is full so of treasure and it's huge. Yeah. Well, I have empty pockets that need filling. All right, so, so this is what I, I want to tell him okay. before he runs. I want to grab his shoulder and say, don't be greedy. Know what you came here for and be careful. <sighs> and, like, sense washes over my face. And I'm like, thank you for that. Thank you for that, my oh, friend. I needed that. Mine. Testing. There are three ways that you can test something. Uh, does that pertain to skill, Shane? Do you know? For me, I want to test, like, I want to pin, just pinpoint the I'm talking the about treasure. carefully, patiently, and quickly is what carefully. I'm talking about. Ah. We're here. I got all the time in the world. I got all the time in the world. You guys leave me? I'm still looking for I'm going to be standing kid. right there. <gasps> my kid is going to die. By well, <laughs> I'll tell you what. I don't give a damn about carefully and patiently. I want to get this done quickly and get out of here. So I am actually, I want to use the quickly, I want to look around quickly since you mentioned it. I want to look around quickly. And I don't care about the damn bonuses. I need them there. All right. <coughs> you know, I don't have to tell you what to do. So go ahead and get your perception. Uh, I will give you a plus one D uh, because it's your family's treasure. It's got your family's crest on it. You can spot that shit from a mile away in a pile of metal, gold. You would notice as soon as you saw it. Okay, I see why it matters now. I see why it matters. I want to find my family's treasure, and I might not be able to do that. Okay. All right. That's why I gave you a little speech. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. I won't let my greed stand in the way and just shove my pockets with gold and walk out. I'm going to try to find my family's treasure. Anyway, so carefully, what does that give you? Plus one D. No. All right. And I'm using the persona. I already put that in there. You've already put a persona. That's an ob five is what you're going for. How many dots you got right now? I got eight. And I can't fork anything to this. No. No, unless... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't. No. I'm using this fade also. Ready, Shane? Hang on. No, I didn't roll yet. You already rolled? No, he hadn't rolled yet. They gave him extra shit. What's what's my obstacle, Ace? What? What's the... What's his... What are you saying, bro? You can roll it to him if you want to. What? He wants... wants I don't don't think I gave him a helpful dice. It's a, no, it's, an ob. Us the help <coughs> it's an ob for Shane, since it's not such a needle in a haystack. I'll say it's an ob four. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay, I got it. 
I'll All say right. it's an ob four because you know treasure. You're a dwarf. I am going to spend a persona point to dump all of my greed for my family treasure into this <laughs> oh, room. There we go. He has dwarves have dude. greed exponents, and it works the same way as hatred. He could spend a persona point, and his exponent of greed can be added to his. How role. much greed does he have? So a okay, four. Four. So I'm I'm rolling nine. Nine dice on this test right now. Yeah, yeah. memory of us. You gotta have a D point to use hatred. Oh, I don't have a D point. No. Nope. Can you use persona on hatred, Shane, to do the For, same way? Dump it has no. It has to make sense contextually. It has to be you are driven by hate. Yeah, you can't be like. There's and no, I, I don't think it's persona. I think it's deeds for hate. That's the, uh, it's deeds. Yeah, to dump your I total. could totally make sense out of that. I'm driven by my hate of not having a name, and looking like a. Child. That would be sorrow and despair. Uh, sorrow. Yeah. It's not you would be sad. And upset. Uh, okay. Yeah. Feel free to define it very specifically. It has to be. Sad it is to not have a it name has to be this. blind rage. Oh, that was legal right there. Be. Okay. 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 Ready, Shane? All right, nine dice, odd four. Let's do this. One, two, three, roll. Okay. All right, Hayes, I hit my ob. I got them two sixes. Does that mean I can re-roll? All right, how many? What'd you get? I you got, got three. You two, got I got three. three successes with two sixes. To re-roll. The finish space. Spin the faith. I will do that. All right. Was he trying to read me again? Five. I need <coughs> two more. He's got three. Jesus. He got two more. Come on, sister. Nah. He got three out of five. <sighs> three out of five. Okay. So. At least one more. So, Hayes, I got what? seven successes. I'm going to start pocketing my family treasure. I'm just no, filling my pockets, whatever it is. You have one more persona point, right? Yeah. Shane, is persona what you can use to reroll failed die? That's... Deeds, my friend. Deeds. Ah, okay. Never mind. Uh, let me see. Maybe he can reroll one. Let me just see what he can spend his persona on. It's a uh, will live. Not like this. I'm only going to get a five. Wait, I need a... No, uh, I have a three, so it's, I need to get throw an more. obstacle or add a D. Oh, I, mean, a, I mean, a D? Okay, well... If there's a time complication, you can negate a time complication by spending a persona. Complication. But only if you were looking carefully. Right. I couldn't use both of them, could I? You can't use both of them at the same time, right? Yeah. You can use... I would have done that. Fuck, roll another one. Roll one more. It's not going to help too much. You don't have You could get a six. What? You got four out of Boom. five. Four out of five. All right, James, I, you already spent your fate point, and as long as you spend one, they keep rolling. Yep. got to get four, uh, five, or six. No. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> what is up with that? That's right. Oh, shitty clear dice. Shoot, yeah. I should have not. No, it's because I rolled on this. I know. Okay. So. got four out of five. What's the consequence of his failure? I want what I got. Okay, I I will explain this. That's now not be that horrible. Hopefully. As the dwarf as the dwarf is looking, <coughs> there's a pile of gold, multiple mountains of gold, and what he sees, just with the glint of his eye as he's turning his head, he catches the shape of a very familiar insignia. So the dwarf is so compelled and so moved that he doesn't even walk around the room. He runs. He runs through the gold. He is climbing hand over hand over these mountains of gold in a straight line. I'm just running. And he finds it. Finally, he crests the top of the gold pile, and he just jumps and slides down. <laughs> the orc box. This is gonna be that goddamn orc box. Falls to his knees and reaches out and pulls out a hammer that has his great grandfather's insignia on it. 
the dwarf has found the gold. Oh well. I'm behind the dwarf. Yes, almost believe is gone. Did I catch him? Now what about so, the talisman? Now. What's up? Now what about the talisman? My grandfather's hammer. Yeah. Now what about the talisman? No. Now the hammer, <coughs> Shane. We got four. Go ahead and add it as a weapon. Huh? We got four fifths. And we'll just it make it a superior here. quality okay. dwarven hammer, mace, whatever. All right. Can I name it? You can name it. Name whatever you want. It's your family's. You this know. This is my grandfather's name was Ben Run. This is Ben Run's hammer. Boom. So dwarf is like weeping. He's sobbing uncontrollably, laying in this pile of gold. Nice. Can I do a champions wise? To know if it's your grandpa? You could, if you wanted to. Yeah. You could see if uh six. You got a six? Yeah. Where you got a one? Yeah. That's a routine. You have heard of him. Woo! You have run a heard of Ben Run's hammer. You would know that not only is he just an accomplished dwarf, an accomplished blacksmith? He helped uh, found the city. He helped oh, build yeah. the city. So he is very well known among the dwarves. <coughs> I didn't even know that about him. He kept well, it a secret. I tell you. I tell you about <laughs> uh, it's like a revelation, and I'm crying, and I'm like having a cathartic moment. Yeah. So, over to the orc. Yes, let's see what happens. Now, the orc... Start strangling the dwarf. Is <laughs> scanning the area. He's taking all the time in the world to look, yeah. and he, he is just, just not looking. Working. And he doesn't really see anything, and he's just kind of wandering, and there are puddles all over the ground that have some black liquid in them, and he's just kind of walking straight through, and he's feeling crestfallen. I mean, he's heart is just broken, you know, because he has traveled all this way and made so many sacrifices that he just, you know, he sees the dwarf and he's happy for the dwarf because he has completed his goal, but he can't help but feel like he'll never be significant because he can't find what he's looking for. As he is just crestfallen, <coughs> as he is just filled full of remorse and sadness, he's kind of walking with his head down, he feels a pulse. And kind of picks his head up and he looks around. And he kind of puts his head back down and walks again. And he feels the pulse a second time. And as he's walking, it's getting faster and faster. Uh, he comes to an area that is almost like a pedestal. Around the pedestal, there are statues, stone statues of orcs. You can tell they're great orcs, heroes among the orc kind. Sitting on top of the pedestal is the box that he's been searching for. Now, he found the box, but in the orc's haste, he ran and snatched the box off the pedestal. He didn't bother to read the incantations on the chain. didn't bother to notice the symbol on the ground surrounding the pedestal. <coughs> didn't notice that in lifting the box, he was unleashing the heroes of times past. As he picks the box up, you hear a groan. You hear something just really low. And it sounds like a shriek. Then a war cry. And it's something you've never heard. Something you've never heard before in your entire life. It sounds like some awful beast. And then there's a shaking. And as the statues shake, you see one in particular start to crack. As the statue I'm cracks... I'm the perception roll. I don't even know where it is. I'm protecting this dude. You can see it. You guys can see it. It's just... It's right. fucking just a little dais. Yeah, I'll okay. probably run away from the pedestal. As it cracks, Defensive. you're too absorbed. You're too absorbed. You failed the roll. This is your consequences. You're too oh, okay. absorbed in holding the chest and holding your talisman that you don't see this statue come to life. 
As the concrete breaks, as the stone breaks from the statue, he stands up as this <coughs> giant of an orc, at least seven feet tall. The only thing he's wearing is a waist cloth. His eyes are milky white. And he's covered in the black substance that you see on the floor. Okay. He has a skeletal arm. Stone. He's been calcified. He had no flesh. <coughs> Talking about the... Statue. Talking about the statue. I'm steadily at this point looking for an escape. And the statue just stands up and is fixated on the orc. I'm still at this point looking for an escape. I need to know what okay, it since is. I haven't been stuffing my pockets and I've been just walking around there. looking at stuff, I want to do a speed test to run to this with, with uh, Zvi. And I want to be like, now's your chance to get back at the orcs. Zvi, let's get them. You can do that. You want to, you want to do a speed test? Well... Right now, he's not doing anything. He's just standing. He's uh, just standing, looking at James? The hero is just standing, staring at James. Okay, I thought he was breaking and going towards James. No, he's just standing. Okay. So, as he is standing, looking at James, he says, why? I'm moving to protect my friend. James <laughs> doesn't, doesn't hear him. James is just too enthralled by the box. And then a louder, more assertive tone... The creature screams, why? I'm moving to protect my... my Have you death. disrupted my slumber? Steel test for me, James. I say, I'll roll on this. I'm moving. Oh, Let's get it right Steel versus your hesitation. Oh, goodness. What is hesitation? Seven. Your hesitation is a seven. Oh, your steel's a three. You, gotta, you can't win. Yeah, you can't. He can. He can. He has... Really bad odds, though. Yeah, six is exploding this. Yeah, six is constantly... Okay. Automatically explode. You can still <laughs> spend a persona to fork in, but uh, yep, I, I wouldn't recommend more. it. It's not going to oh, raise your odds that way. much. I can't fork in, like, off of Belief or something yeah, like that. Yeah, no. Still oh. steal. Everybody's got a steal test. Yeah. Everyone. Ah, all right. I, I can't slap. You steal test. Fly steal test. Brad steal test. Brent steal test. No fork in. Sixes are open ended. All right. You? you are I know how to do this. You are running to go like help James. All right, Hayes. Mid stride. <laughs> Write down the dwarf failed his steel test by a margin of two. The orc failed his steel test by zero. I gotta get five out of <laughs> so I, I five. By a you failed by a margin of seven. So seven. Yes. Yeah. No fourteen. No, my stealth, not my knife, not my nope. beliefs. All right, so how does this work? I got to hit five out of six. I got seven out of six, and my wolf failed by two. I'm confused as to how this works, though. So, I have a five still. I have a six hesitation. Yeah, you roll five dice. I got to get six pass. Yeah, and six is explode. I got one. You got, you got two. two. That's it. <coughs> what was your margin of failure? Eight, Nine, oh, five. five. Five? Yeah. Six, my bad. Sorry, six. Uh, collapse. Well, how, how, how many successes right. did you get, Brent? Well, what about you, Brent? Two. I got So six. you, you oh. fell by a margin of four. Yeah, and my wolf margin failed by two. So you yeah. passed. You passed your steel test. Yeah. Okay. Just too fast for me. All right, Brad, looks like the spotlight's going to be on you, buddy. And what did your wolf fail by? He fell by two. <laughs> Unless he, he gets something. Nope. It Brash, matter. gray, fearless. Yeah. Fucking if it was up. a time, probably you could break it in his favor. Let's see what fearless does. I'm gonna look at the uh, monster burner. I don't know what those are. I, I couldn't find those. I couldn't find brash or fearless. It's it's probably the monster brave. burner. There's brave in there too. I don't know what those are either. I mean, they're die traits, but I don't Plus know Plus 1D yeah. long range sight, perception, observation, but I don't get that because I rushed in to protect my friend, right? Six. Five. 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 Low rolls. All day. <coughs> All day. Okay, so the door fell by two. Or <coughs> seven. The L, six. Titus six. passed. He said he fell by a margin of six. 
Yeah, I just need to know how many. Yeah, how how roll two success. I roll two success. Now, the hesitation is six. Before. Now, now, Brad. No. I got confused with the wording. Since we're teaching each other, you can command the wolf to snap out of it if he failed. You could. Do you have a will? But it, but it will waste an action. The wolf's dominant. He can't do that. Yeah, he can. He can yell. What? Just so like I can run up to you and slap and you. And for every success... Yeah, one free I was trying to do all the way across that fucking combat area. I was trying to get up the yeah. What? But you've only got one free action. You, like, I'm going I'm to back out of this. But I just want to say that's one option. I mean, I can't come up with anything else. But it's up, it's up to you, man, what you do. What I do? Yeah. Okay. Well, I am going to stand where I am. And seeing as James is in danger from looking in his eyes and seeing how shocked and surprised he is, I'm going to answer the orc in his stead. That orc just shit himself. Do you have... Is he speaking orcish? No. Okay. He speaks in an ancient dialect. Uh, That's actually a skill in here, though. It's like a long-forgotten language. Okay. Then I probably don't understand him when he was saying that shit. Right? Mm -hmm. well, well, let's say... Fuck it. What? What is it, Jay? I mean, why could be just a common word that was passed down through the ages to explain how we know what he yelled. Well, how about this? How about I will say that he understands. I'll say he understands all the races. I'll say that. We'll just say that he can understand all languages because he's from when the world was young. He does he have a noticeable knows. figure? Like is he is he does he look anything like what he used to? He looks exactly like he used to. He all is, right. He is not diminished in any way. The only I mean he's got a giant. He, he's like seven feet tall. He's fucking huge. He's this big hulking madman. Oh. Hey, hey, real quick. We didn't choose what we wanted to do with our fair yeah, scale yeah, results. Choose. What do you want to do? Now, if you look <coughs> under your reflexes, inside your hesitation, I'm sorry, you can stand do one of a few things. You can stand and drool. You can fall prone and beg for mercy. You can swoon. You can run screaming. <laughs> and that's it. So or you, you can shit you. yourself. Or you can shit. <laughs> a little crazy. <coughs> a little crazy. So what do you want to do? What this would is you, aggravating me. What would you, yeah. you, you Nothing gives you an advantage. I'm going to insult him. You can't do that. You're too afraid. You can take no action except to flee. You're here to okay. Them. Nothing. Here I'll weigh in. I'll tell you what I choose. I am going to fall on yeah. my knees. And raise the hammer above my head and beg for his mercy for disturbing his slumber. That is what I'm when, doing. When I when I see him do that, I'll do the same thing. I'm like, Ghost doing it. Oh shit, I better do it too. So I'm gonna to say the thing. crazy one is back, and I'm gonna run around in a circle around him. A zig zig is also uh, standing and drooling. Zig also failed. He failed by a margin of six. I'm going to battle so a whole lot of ineligible I words. One bat and I'm just going to run around. If it's run screaming, you have to drop what you're holding. You have to drop what you're holding. So if you're holding your weapon, you got to drop your weapon, and you got to turn and run away. You can't run back into the battle. You can't run at him. you got to run to the exit. I don't understand this. You just have to choose. You have to choose your result. You don't really. It's it's the you have to just pick one of the evils. They're all bad. Yeah, I'm, but my guy would know what's going on. I don't. You six six explode on. Uh, what? Well, when you fail when you fail the steel test, you you have to hesitate. You have to choose a hesitation. There's yeah, nothing special. Uh, that's only if you have a special trait that gives you a special steel reaction. For instance, there's one called for glory, which is you yell for glory and charge into battle. But you don't have that. You have to choose from the stock standard results. Yeah, I'm a little crazy. You know, swoon, you, well, swoon is like pass out. Like you're just going to pass backwards. Yeah, I'm not faint. 
Yeah, it's Why is this why not pitch backward? I'm a fan like a lady backward. Yeah, it can't. Shane, wises are not open ended, are they? Wises are not. No. Okay, well, I spent a fate and a persona to roll two dice for champion wise. I got two sixes and two passes. So I got four. It really matters to you what this guy's made of. Champion wise, I want to know exactly who he is. That's what I was aiming for. To know if I've heard of this famous orc who has been a hero of ancient times who has been passed Ooh. down to right here. He said no. This orc's name. He said no. This you orc's don't know. name. Listen. You go down. <laughs> we'll make that an open-ended rule. It's going to be just graduated test. A test of wise. In orc fashion, let me give you an example of how orcs are named. Orcs are not named Bob. They're not named <coughs> Carl. Orcs are named in really long sentences, so it would be something like, uh, let me see if I can find it, find one of the weird ones. Those beneath him are, is, oh, he's whose skin is like winter night, whose mere presence causes those beneath him to shiver in terror and cower beneath his wicked blade, is a name. That is a name for an orc. As best as I can describe, I would well, I say a that this is the character's name. That's not his. That was just okay. an example. The character's name. You will recollect hearing something about this just godly orc. He's basically, you know, like a demigod. He's a fucking orc among orcs. Okay. He's very well known and very feared by all of them. His name is He Who Is Blind But Drinks the Blood of the Master. Okay. You would know that he is blind. So, being, that being said, silence is going to be your ally here. You would know that throughout history, the only way anyone has ever had an advantage against this orc would be to be quiet. I know he's not friendly at all, though. Uh, you would just know that he is this terrifying orc, and that he has killed hundreds, if not thousands. You could tell me to shut the go. Okay, I will say. How far away am I from him? I would say you didn't really say that you moved once we made it into the chamber. So I would say you were probably a good 50 yards by half football field. You're about half. You're like, I mean, he's like almost dead center of the room. Smack dab center of the room. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to tell everyone stay silent, and I'm going to say his name. And I'm going to try to get his attention while getting as close to Zai as I can. Zwei is right beside him. Okay. So Zwei is like, he's in your back pocket. All right. Feel his fur. So do we want to wait for Brent to get back to finish this out? Mm -hmm. This is pretty pivotal. This is a pretty... <coughs> Here he is. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm uh, sweating, i got to admit. Okay, so... <coughs> I might need another shot. Shot, 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 shot. Everybody. Oh, so what you missed, then, is Brad roll a champion wise. Was it a competition? <laughs> found out the guy's name. Yes, sir. Uh, his name is He Who Is Blind But Drinks the Blood of the Master. Oh. So, you know he is blind. Obviously. And he drinks the blood of his master. So, Brad called out his name. With, with Brad's free action, he shouted, Everyone be quiet. But, Josh, tell me that. I don't know. I don't know if it got through. I don't know if. You don't have to tell me that. I'll, I'm not worried about it. I'll allow it. Uh, whatever. I'll say that My character? they heard it through every. Because everybody's still shocked. Everybody can't move. Just him shouting is not going to... Oh, yeah. Did anybody, anybody run and scream? No. Everybody basically, like... I laid down at the top. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't want to drop the hammer, so... So, 
I didn't want to drop the box. Somebody, people, some people are begging for mercy, though. Me? Yeah. Yeah. This is what happens. I look for a quick option out, like immediately in this. Oh, hold on. This is what happens. As Brad shouts this orc's name, the orc, blind eyes, looks dead at Brad's character. He looks yeah, yeah, dead I'm at Titus. I'm gonna throw a knife at him. If still possible, stunned. Still stunned. All right. He reaches to his hip. Lay it on thick. And produces a knife. Well, this is not an ordinary knife. This knife has faces carved into the blade. This knife is, from what you can tell, a very dangerous and ritualistic knife. What this orc does is he raises the knife up above his head. He takes his other hand and grasps the blade, and you see blood start pouring down his arm. I mean, blood is just soaking his entire body. And as he pulls the dagger away, it's like a string. It's almost like a rope of blood is in his hand. And as the knife comes down, the rope separates, and it's a whip made of pure blood. Oh. <coughs> and what he does is he looks at James's character. He can't see, but because James is of orcish descent, he knows where he is. He can feel his general presence. And he cracks the whip. He cracks the whip on the orc. <laughs> he, commands, he commands the orc to stand. I am going to stealthily... Am I free to move? Nope. You stand. <coughs> you stand? Yep. All right. So, cracks the whip again. Right across the orc's face. Leaves a scar. Yep, I just keep... I take it. And the orc just stands there, and he... commands again to drop the box. Now, if you don't want to listen to what he says, if you want to try to resist, you have to roll your will. Oh, my God. It gets, am I hesitation again? No, you have to just roll your will. You have to roll your will. Against his, like, five to one. Against yeah. his will. And that's ridiculous. <laughs> I, don't, I can't do that. You can't, can't force shit either because <laughs> I'm standing still. So you're going to listen or you're going to try? The consequences of failure. Could be worse than what you've got on your table right now. You only have one faith point, love. Well, he's got to obey. His only his only chance, the only thing that with your trait, tasting the lash, you have to either obey or you can try to resist. And if you try to resist, you'll end up having to obey anyway because you can't break his will. True that. Unless oh, I get a yeah. bunch of sixes. Which is not going to happen, so i put the box down right in the feet. Now... That is not the pedestal. <laughs> As you the box put it down. is placed on the ground, you see this giant of an orc. You see this harbinger of death. I tell you one more time. Put his hands on the whip and pull it straight out in front of him. Mm -hmm. And then he opens his hands, and the whip separates into two pieces. And it goes to the palm of his hand. So he has like two orbs of blood in his hand. Orbs of blood? Okay. Now, as he does this, he thrusts his hand forward and hits the puddles on the ground. A bunch of different shafts come out of his hand, out of the orb, and touches each one. It's blood. Orc blood. So he commands the blood and it brings the box up to him. As it brings the box up to him, he grabs the box, holds on to Brad, him. do something. Do something, Titus. Oh, I'm waiting on how to do his descriptions. All right, and, the order, to and a very distinct tone yeah. says, you have not heard the last of me. And his body starts to turn black, and it looks like he's disintegrating, and he turns into this blood mist. And just disappears completely. 
Now, as he disappears, the blood puddles on the floor start to well up. And as they're welling up, you can see they're taking form. And what you see in front of you is this giant golem, this gigantic golem. Well, all it's almost this, as tall as the ceiling. How much while all that was happening? When he yeah, cracked the whip, it snapped everybody out. It snapped everybody out? Everybody, every his his screaming and snapping the whip. Right when it disappeared. Everybody. Do I know that? Like, every, I see yeah, you can see, you can see everybody snap. Okay. So now where we are is this gigantic <clears throat> in front of everybody. Half the people were laying down, swooned. James is standing there, blood dripping from his face. I'm laying on the ground, steadily looking, trying to find out what's going on with my watch hole. And that is the end of our session, guys. So we're gonna. No, I want to fight. Ah, that's, that's it. Ridiculous, dude. I want to fight the gold. Can't do that How much me. longer can we go? You can't do that to me. That's it. That's you can't it. do that to me, dude. Yep. Can. How much time do you guys have tonight? Forever. Uh, I ain't got shit to do tomorrow. You gotta save it, man. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Dude, Come on. Man. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Give me something. That's it. That's the end. God. At least let us try to escape the cave. No. Please. Nope. No. Ah. Oh, God, Dale. Hold oh, one disguise. I'm not fighting golden as, two like, things. as tall as the ceiling. Uh, that makes no sense. I can barely beat a great wolf. Why would I want to do that? Can we just take a break and you think on it? Please. No, no, that's it. I got something uh, out of path and way, did I? Did you dude, we've been anything? doing this since, like, what, 8, 9, 10, 11, uh, three, yeah. three and a half hours. Yeah. I stopped it, like, yeah. several times. Oh, don't worry, there'll be more. This is the beginning of a campaign. This is not, uh... Yeah. So did you write down my You're pretty sure either me or Shane were going to fail. Yeah. One of us were going to fail. Hell yeah. Right. Yeah, and it just happened to be me. So I thought you were writing them down as I was calling them out. Yeah, so, a lot more tougher. I, I I so, uh, well, I guess we could do session wrap up. That's going to be fun. Yeah, session wrap up. All right. Uh, real, real quick, before we do that, can we all get tests for our steel? What was the obstacle for the, the steel? Can you hand out a steel test? The steel test was challenging. Okay. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way you guys would have made it. I mean, it's just impossible. Yeah, Brad made it. Stats. Well, Brad made it. was steel versus hesitation. Well, here's the thing. Yeah, Brad made it, but he still gets the challenging test. Yeah, I, so, I mean, it was challenging. Basically, your obstacle on a steel test is your hesitation. Yeah, you, you can advance still your got a challenging goals. test because cool. your, your hesitation. I did like three hesitation tonight. I did. I'm nope, retarded. you do, you only did a steel test once. So that was the first <coughs> and only steel test that we did. Yep. So you get a challenging for a steel. You get a challenging for your steel. Brad gets a challenging. Zwei gets a challenging test for his steel. And Zig gets a challenging test for his steel. Oh, I want to use that hammer so bad. I don't even know who's in that box, man. Come on. His firstborn son. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Your own dick. Yeah. <laughs> you look down and there's nothing. That's a that's his belief. His hey, belief look, is he can never. It's my dick in a box. So <laughs> that just my belief box. now, or is it still? We, we, will, we will do that here in a second. We'll we'll do beliefs and everything here in a second. So, how was that for my first game being run? Not bad at all. I enjoyed it. I'm actually I hate you. I feel, you hate me. I feel bad because I couldn't do as much skills as I wanted to. I hate you right now. I thought we were going to develop fight. as much as I wanted to. We That's normally how it happens though, yeah. Burning Wheel. We should have fought those guys. Yeah, you like. I feel like in Burning Wheel, you always are sitting there saying, "I want to do this," and then the session's over before you can do it. So you got to do what you want to do while you can. You have no armor. I think is I'm still yeah, six agility just back and dodging. If you dedicate your turn to dodging, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I'm gonna tell you, dude. I haven't played Burning Wheel since I ran that game, or since I was at Burning Con last year. I have not played in a game, so that for me felt very good. Well, I appreciate it. Uh, I just hope I didn't. I only hate you because I want more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's true. I'm tired. Of well, we all got actions now. We're we're not hesitating anymore. So as soon as we jump, we everybody can... is basically awake. You know we're gonna collude, Hayes. We're all gonna email each other and come up with a plan. Yeah, hey, you got to, man. You got to. I do not. I'm lonesome. Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> all I can do is shoot. Brad will be like, please don't CC me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> or Brett, sorry. I always get your. I'm sorry about getting your names. It's the bees, man. So, let's go through Fate, Fate and Persona. Uh, I am going to, first off... Go character by character, right? Yep. Well, I'm going to do everybody. I'm going to yeah. just point out... Because I wrote it down as you guys were earning. So make sure well, actually, I did person by person, so never mind. Wait, anyway. aren't these deeds right here? You don't have any needs. That's like extra shit. That's what you can graduate to. You, oh, have that you don't shit. have any needs. Okay, yeah. so first, I'm going to start with James. James, I'm going to give you a fate point for explaining your belief about the treasure. Not only about explaining your belief, but for going out of your way to ask your party members now to assist you after we get divorce treasure. So, you get a fate for that. Uh, I gave you a fate for playing your greed. Uh, My I can't remember. Yeah, you, not the actual greed stat, but you were like greedy for the treasure. Um, I can't remember. I, I had it down for a certain reason. I had it I can't remember what it was, but just mark another fate down. Okay. Now, Shane. All right. I gave you a fate for trying to take care of your companions. All right. I gave you a fate for strongly following your belief about liars and trying to make sure Zig was not a liar. Okay. I gave you a persona point for. Well, do we vote on those or? What? No, we haven't done the voting yet. We haven't done the voting as far as like <clears throat> who made the, the awards. Okay. We okay, haven't yeah. done the awards yet. Okay. I gave you a persona point for role playing with Brent. Basically, on, on the arguments about about the friendship and getting him to agree for the instinct of the repairs. All right. And making him swear that he will not touch his. You know, stuff like that. So wait, that that was one persona point. Yeah, one. That was one persona point. Okay. Great. Now, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Brent. I gave you a fate point. I gave you a fate point for basically stealthing through the first entire portion. You know, just you know, you didn't really, you didn't fail. You played your character perfect. I gave you another fate point for role playing out, you know, with Shane and just basically being in character. I gave you a gave you a persona point, but I can't remember what for. I got so wrapped up. I got so wrapped up in the storytelling that I forgot to... Uh, to yeah, yeah, persona that point for... Yeah, that's what it was for. Yeah. For trying your hardest to protect Jinx. At the very end there. Right. Brad. I gave you a persona point for explaining your belief. I mean, a, a fate, not a persona, my bad. A fate point. I gave you another fate point for cooking your companion's favorite meal. <laughs> uh, I gave you a fate for agreeing to teach reading and writing. And what was it? It's good. 
<laughs> and I believe that was it. That's good. For the, oh, no, I gave you a persona point. I gave you a persona point also for taking care of his wife. For not, at any point throughout the story, you didn't just act like he was just an NPC. You actually treated him and role played <coughs> as if he was yeah. your partner. That was very important to you, so you got a persona point for that. You walk James. with him instead of writing him here. I gave you the one fate for explaining your belief. And give me another fate. I gave you another fate. And this is the next one you need to mark down right now for wanting to learn the etiquette and getting Brad to teach you to read and write. Yeah, I didn't think. I just kind of thought, of like, oh, yeah, I could use this as a bargaining chip. Right. Mm -hmm. And what else was there? Yeah, that was it. Okay. Also, uh, hey, just to let you know, uh, I marked a test for my greed for yeah. because I've used my yeah. greed. That's right. Yep. Um, and I spent a persona on my perception, and I marked that off. Did everybody else mark off when they spent Arda on a they skill? They did. I was making okay. sure. Yeah, I was I making spent, sure everybody okay. was marked off. I spent Faith. I got three now. I spent okay. a Faith and a Persona at I the same time. I spent two Personas and, and, and a Faith. <laughs> who that orc was. I spent no Persona. I should have at the very last bit. But um, are we doing votes? Now. Votes. Let's do the awards and the votes. You take this part over, Shane, because you know more about it than I do. All right, so uh, what what I need to do? Or yeah. Like, so yeah. I will preface this by saying that in our in our other session that we were running, where I was GMing, I had Hayes and Brad playing. It was two players, and I nominated them for awards, and we kind of just did it mishmash. But by the book, players are supposed to nominate each other for awards give us and, the awards. and vote on it, and you have to earn it unanimously. All right, give me a second. Let me end this broadcast. It's about to go off in five minutes, and I'll start up another one, uh, so we can finish up. We can finish up our awards and everything. Okay, I'll read actually out the book, so we do this right this time. All right, give me a second.